Hey kid, do you want this potion? Ten gold. (laughs) 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 Okay, so uh, we start off on this evening. It is raining outside. It is a thunderstorm. And (laughs) Jazzle, in your dreams, yes. Once again, you find yourself standing on that rock Uh, in the middle of the sea. Still grumbling about your talk with Mercania Vale. A lady doesn't accept responsibility. What's up with her? <laughs> As you say this, <laughs> you turn around to find. Actually, you, you you turn around to find nothing. It's just the endless sea. Lightning. <laughs> ah, the endless sea. Lightning is crashing down all around you, and you hear the voice behind you say, "Why do you forsake me, Jazzleraz?" Because you're dead. I'm not. (laughs) I told you that I wasn't. What do you mean? I'm not dead. It's my mother who's dead. Did you misunderstand me? Wait a second. (laughs) (laughs) Lightning crashes again. (laughs) Wow. This is new information to me. Does this change your entire worldview when you turn yes, around this, to see? This changes my entire worldview. You view. see a bronze dragon head on the rock behind <laughs> you roll their gigantic eyes. Yes, this changes my entire worldview, my lady. I'm so sorry I forsook you. It will never happen again. Good. And she like she takes a deep breath and exhales these sparks onto you, and once more you feel um empowered by uh, the, the might of glimmer my i can lay on so many more hands <laughs> i'm going to take it away if you say that again <laughs> <laughs> i open my mouth like i'm gonna say it again and then i close it she opens a nostril real big um, <laughs> okay now that that's out of the way <laughs> let's go kill Geothrax, right yes but there's one more thing what <clears throat> Before, when you swore your oath to me, it was alone. I would like you to repeat your oath with me. Well, now now that I think about it, I'm I'm not really a fan of the old one. In fact, I've been breaking it on multiple occasions. I I don't know if you've noticed. I did. (laughs) It was really unfortunate. Yes. I have prepared a new oath for you. Oh. To avenge me. Yes. An oath of thin revengeance. <laughs> Metal Gear Rising. Yeah. <laughs> Jazaraz, do you swear to fight the great, uh, the greater evil? Uh. If that means Olgiathrax, then yes. It does. <laughs> I hate that guy. And do you swear to show no mercy for the wicked? Yep, especially Olgiathrax. Yes, no, that's. You know, is, are, is this you know kind of a given? One. Like Yes, you don't have to specify. Okay, okay, okay. Do you swear to seek restitution by defeating our foes? Such as Ogeothrax, <laughs> the Radiant. Yes, especially him. And do you swear to accomplish these feats by any means necessary? That's the only way I know how. Good. And at once, lightning crashes down on you. And you wake up. I, I just bolt upright. I'm like, I'm so stupid. <laughs> and everybody, you can roll a dice if you need to. Or you all get your rest, unless you guys wanted to do anything last night. Oh, that was also when stuff came out about uh, 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 kids, Zuskel and Honk's past. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wait, Wait, what? It's raining. Well, you guys had that conversation about your pasts. Yeah. However brief. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is morning. It is raining lightly. It is early. I assume Kit or Renkari has woken everybody up, done the rounds Mm -hmm. at this point. Or both of them, honestly. (laughs) You get all your spell slots. We're off to a good start. Oh, we're just Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna wake up really early, really early. 
really early. Even before like everybody a, else wakes up. Like an hour early. Damn, 4 a.m. Yeah, 4 a.m. Oh, boy, 4 a.m. Oh, boy, 4 a.m. <laughs> okay. I'm going to uh, uh, <laughs> wipe the crusted salt off of my flask <laughs> yeah. that had been building up uh -huh. from disuse and then do my little ritual. Uh, I'm, like, back, guys. I'm very sorry, Glimmer. I didn't mean it. It was all a big misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't grumble at me. <laughs> the thunder seems pleased. Albeit ah, yes. slightly put out. <laughs> hey. No. <laughs> Jazzeraz is after... No, I'm not going to finish. <laughs> so, she needs to find a kobold husband. <laughs> Lay some eggs. Yeah, just lay Look, the best we already eggs. established that Glimmer was a milf, right? Oh, Glimmer's True. a total Man. milf. <laughs> no, we actually did, though. Look through the pins. No, that's right. Oh, no, it's not in the pins, but it's somewhere. <laughs> anyway. You know it. And then I will get up and uh, touch up the little dragon painted onto my body that has been very faded recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I uh, stalk towards the... Uh, I prowl towards the inn. Okay. Roll for prowl. Alright. Uh, oh, we're playing... We're not playing Blades in the Dark? Okay. Uh, okay, either performance? Uh, how's that? Oh, stealth works. Yeah, sure. You are heckin' prowling. I prowl to, yeah. the, to the inn. Yes. Oh, you step in. There's... <laughs> One man passed out on the uh, on a table. Everybody else, uh, the common room is empty. Um, you assume your com your companions are in their room still. The companions. Mm -hmm. I will prowl up the stairs. All right, you do. To and I will furiously knock on their doors. Right, waking everybody up. Da, 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 da. What do you guys do? Hearing this knocking. This prowling and knocking. Well, they didn't hear the prowling because I was prowling. <laughs> well, that's true. Their passive perceptions suck. I'm back. Up. Sorry about that. Jumps out of bed and throws open the door. She's like, what, 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 what? It's time to go! <laughs> Morning! You're, you're so early. Let's Hello. go! It's 4 a.m. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> it's exactly... We have to go oh, through security. Oh, 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 we have to oh, get our oh, bags oh, checked. Oh, oh, oh. Let's what go! What are you talking about? We gotta go all the way to the port. <laughs> yeah, port. <laughs> Uh, Kit and Come Rune. on, we'll eat breakfast once we get there. We gotta get there at least two hours early. Oh, no, <laughs> and no. we're an hour late. Kit, <laughs> Kit, Kit and Rinkar, you notice that Jazraz has touched up his paint and he seems to be in higher spirits than the previous night. Did something happen? What? You seem different. You seem like you're in a better mood than usual. Uh. Shut up, that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we gotta go. 5 a.m. the ship's oh, 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 leaving oh. the harbor. We gotta go. I gotta Google. load my stuff. We gotta make sure that we're at the right boat. <laughs> Lots of boats. Do you remember the name of the boat? God, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I did not write that down. Right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we see. go to boat now. Time to go. Okay, so figure you, out when we get there. Okay, so you guys all pack your stuff up and head down to the docks. It takes you. I think you guys were staying in the the fourth ring. Yeah, so the fourth ward. Yeah. yeah, like the second worst one. Right. I think. Yeah, the fourth <laughs> ward. Yeah, we upgraded um, a little bit. Yeah, uh, you guys are making it. So uh, you guys make it to the docks, which are basically ground level on the backside of the city. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. There's, uh, there are like steep stairs built into the rock that you travel down on your way to the docks. And, but even when you're at the top, you see the 15 sets of majestic sails of platinum sails with blue uh, markings on them. Uh, ooh, Shannon. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, we'll find out. Uh, you guys walk down, uh, you see all sorts of soldiers and people bustling about, even more than the day before, for those of you who went to the docks. Um, people are boarding ships, uh, you know, hauling. Actually, there's a surprisingly small amount of cargo being loaded onto these, uh, these ships. Uh, hard for you to tell at this distance, but it doesn't seem like people are bringing as much as you would expect. Um, otherwise, you guys travel down the stairs and enter the docks. Uh, you see several ledgermen, like before, who are making sure that everything is put on the right ship, and that everybody's going to the right ship. Uh, everybody except the main ledgerman, the royal ledgerman, seems pretty tired, and they're yawning. But this man is always in high spirits, and you hear him, like, barking. Not not dog barking. He's, <laughs> what? He's like, he's like, over there, you! Bring that package and put it on this boat! What are you doing, you buffoon? And, you know, all that kind of stuff. And Was that he, the guy we talked to before? Yes. Okay. This is the one he swindled it onto, into giving yes. you a passage. Um, so, yeah. You see him. Hello! Yeah. I'm strolling up to him. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Hello. Oh. oh, you're the man from before. Is this your whole party? Wait, do you have the ATB with you right now? <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, you brought it down the stairs. Doom, 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 doom. Every step. Hello. Um, Didn't we, like, hook it up to our horse? Yeah. Too? Like, yeah. Got our horse. Yeah, you have your horse. And yeah. you got passage for the ATB and the horse, too. <laughs> I thought that we did, at least. Yeah. Um, yes, and he says, uh, uh, Yes, I see that you've made it on time. Yes. Yep. Which boat was it again? Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't remember? No. Ah, uh, let me check. The Steelborn Cascade, of course. Which Steel one, Dad? Steelborn Cascade? Don't Steelborn need name, just go. Cascade. Nowhere go. What boat? That one, and he points at the very far end of the docks. It nice. is Okay. It's hard to see behind the rest of the ships at this point. <laughs> Guys, what if we get on the wrong boat and go to the wrong aisles? <laughs> you end up back in the uh, Dorain. That oh would be God, hilarious. That would be the worst. <laughs> um, yes. And he says, Did you bring everything? Yep, yep, we got our ATB and the horse. And did you bring the packages? The what? Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It. That's a little legerman joke. <laughs> That's the I'll worst joke I've ever heard. Big package. Oh, <laughs> you do. Let me see. Wait, no, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> no I, uh, well, I know we have you. at least two packages. <clears throat> uh, yes. Anyway, uh, it is that what? ship. Please go meet your captain and crew. Um. Uh. Goodbye. Bye. What's the captain's name? Valor. Captain Valor? Yes. Oh, okay. Or Valor. No. Valor. Valor. Yes, he gets but it. And he said he slaps Honk on the arm. <laughs> <laughs> that tickle. <laughs> <laughs> Which, at point of order, this man is wearing, like, gleaming platinum armor and has, like, a beautiful sword at his side. That's expensive armor. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. These guys are stupidly rich. Yes, we are. Start, 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 <laughs> hey, you were supposed to hear that. Out. I am in the ears of a hawk. <clears throat> I mean fox. Eyes of a <laughs> eyes of a hawk. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm just pushing people out of the way to get to the boat. He's very excited. So as you walk down, you do see there's a uh, a lesser ledgerman down by your boat, and he's he looks kind of like the kid from Horton Hears a Who, like he has that kind of affect. Oh, God. He's wearing similar armor, but he's just like, "Hey, are you guys boarding the boat? Hello. Hey, please cool it. It's really early. What? Oh, we haven't even talked to you yet, Shh, dude." Are you stone? No. <laughs> okay. okay. I just pushed past him towards the boat. <laughs> Bye. Okay. So, you guys step onto the boat. And... Okay. <laughs> okay. I gotta figure out how I want to do this. Yeah, okay, fine. You step on the boat. Uh, there is a ladder leading onto the side of the boat. Or not like a ladder, but... Why is... 
Rock a gangplank? Not... Yeah, a gangplank. Stop talking about my gangplank, Austin. <laughs> um, <clears throat> show you a gangplank. Dude, I love that. So you step on, and there are a few people on board. So uh, there, you see three at the moment, and they are walking around, just kind of mumbling to themselves. They're not making much noise. Uh, one, you see a... Uh, uh, you see a, um, let's see, maybe five foot... Uh, feathered individual with black and white feathers and he has it they have yellow feathers uh, like plumes sticking out of like a crest on their forehead they have a small orange peak and they're wearing red robes um, Bird. like honk like as in he looks like a five foot tall penguin and you <laughs> see Whoa. he is waddling on uh, on the the main deck with a couple boxes in his hands. He has a loot strapped to his back. And uh, there's also a shorter individual, though relatively stocky. We're talking very buff, also avian. They're about uh, three feet tall, three and a half feet tall. This one more um, raven-esque. Uh, it has one eye that is um, deep cyan with a mark through it that's almost glowing, and the other eye is black. Uh, do they, they have, have the sharring gun? <laughs> do they have what? A reference <laughs> I understood. <laughs> um, I don't know, but no. Um, and this this uh, this is a kinku for those of you who probably know, which are everybody make a history check. Ah, kinku. They were all bird. over Shaid. They actually were. Jazarez, you would know that you've seen a few Kenku. Uh, <laughs> Kit, I'll say you've read about Kenku. Nobody Aaron, else. really need to get this over. <laughs> nobody else really knows what a Kenku is. But um, I've witnessed a Kenku. No, you, no, you do. You do because oh, okay. you've seen them. Uh, they're native to Dorain, so. <clears throat> or that side of the co- of Alira before it split. Um, yes, and. Uh, they are wearing, like, breeches, but no shirt. They just have feathers. Um, appearing male, both of them. And the third individual is a uh, taller, maybe 5'7", five, 5'8", five, purple tiefling with uh, beautiful, long uh, purple... Or, no, sorry, white hair and horns Ooh. that stick back with, like, jeweled bands along her horns. It is a woman. <laughs> she is... Uh, very beautiful, but she has a countenance about her, like she is very um, purposeful. She has a hood pulled up uh, just be- that rests between her horns, and uh, she is wearing, uh, this like cloak is very flowing and blue, and she has like, uh, under it, you can't really tell, but they're uh, nicer clothes, relatively speaking. Uh, for oh, I will find out see. later. <laughs> so, uh, that is who you see, and as you step aboard, the first, the uh, penguin Arakakra, says, Hello there? Hi, bird. <laughs> All right, so he's a, I'm an Arakakra. And he like, kind of gets, he uh, waddles up to you, sets on what he's doing, and waddles up to you and looks up at you, honk. Um, his, his movements are very like angular, like he does one kind of movement and then the next. Um, and he just looks right up at you and goes, Are you, uh, are you our crew? Yep. All of you? Yup. Oh, neat. And he, like, turns around and he says, Hey, Captain, this is our crew. And the uh, the purple tiefling turns around. Oh, yes. <laughs> the purple tiefling. Yeah, who would have thought that the one with the virtue name was the purple tiefling? <laughs> uh, the purple tiefling turns mm. around, uh, Captain Valor, and says, Oh, hello, there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I kind of hate that. <laughs> Welcome to the Steelborn Cascade. Hello. Wait, she's Captain Valor. Yes, do you have a problem with that? No, I just thought Valor was a surname, not a virtue name. No, it is the latter. And if you have a problem with that, we will deal with it right no, now. No, I and was she just like, saying that her past and you see two wrong, on her sides. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, put your cloak back and doesn't flash her swords anymore. And the Kinku, who she referred to as Yerk, uh, he kind of walks over and looks up at you and says, Lady. 
<laughs> in your exact intonation. Oh, other. I bird. like this guy. <laughs> uh, let me see. I'm gonna make it. What was the What was the Erica Chris name? Uh, Emperor, although he did not <laughs> announce himself. Either. Oh. Uh, my what? name. My oh, name's... I thought you said his name already. Yeah, my name is Emperor. Oh, wow. Thanks. Bonk. Oh, well, wow, that's nice. Uh, uh, yeah, this is your. He doesn't talk. No, that's to not me. his name. He just pretends to be a goose sometimes. No, his real that name is Stupid. No, my name Honk. I'm making honk noise because Bird's here. That not nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that, but you can still talk about Bird. I do have quite a fascination for Bird. No, and both of us do, don't we, Yurk? And Yurk just, like, looks up at, uh, at Emperor and says, Don't we, Yurk? And then walks away. <laughs> uh, um, I love this guy. Now you Best see. member of the crew. So... Uh, I want to bring you to this other map now. Uh, just give me a sec, because it's going to... It'll... Hold on. It, uh, just... Yeah. It'll I'm take excited. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, Ronan. Are you okay? <laughs> Too much. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hold on, I have to put all your characters on the screen. I really don't have to. I could just put you on the screen first, but you know what? This is fun. But we could put ourselves on the screen. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, yes. <laughs> Didn't you consider that? My DM's a Dementor! <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, why is there oh. another boat? <laughs> no, this is showing each of the different decks. So uh, while traveling, you can show where you are. <laughs> So <laughs> this boat is really four boats. <laughs> oh, so, that's really cool. So this is boat. so you see the uh, the top deck. Uh, you see. Oh, no, I'm down. I got. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a <laughs> mistake. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the wheel pew, for pew, turning. Pew, pew, pew. Cannon, cannon. Oh, okay. this. Wait, we have cannons on this thing. Yes, hey, two cannons. That hey. my cannon. Get cannon. away. And they Thank look you. they look more mechanical, like they're like almost more bolt throwers than cannons. They don't shoot me out of this cannon. No way. <laughs> uh, this uh, orange thing that I marked right here, it looks like Hello. it looks almost like a goalpost. It looks like a slingshot without the band. Like oh. it's an empty Y, and it what is. What is Honk doing? It's probably <laughs> the top. I mean, don't look here. The, the <laughs> The cross band is probably five feet high, and then the arms are probably end about eight feet high. So what is that? Sorry, I it was looks like, it's like a magical tuning fork. It looks like a Y. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. Um, and I'm it's really totally myself out. It's and a it's, magical tuning fork, honk. Sorry, honk distracted. And it's probably about six, the arms are probably about six feet across. Um, this. Across where so it's this... not a slingshot, right? No, it looks like it is, okay. but it doesn't have a sling. Nothing is attaching the arms. Um, not yet. And it's huge. Not yeah. Either. So this is a magic circle. Um, um, let's see. Who's trained in Arcana? Me. Um, I think Cecil is. Oh, I am it? not. Maybe. Not really. I'm not. Yeah, Cecil okay. has you? that. No, it's not. Mm -mm. Okay, Cecil, roll up. Wow, I threw that. Uh, actually, no, you recognize this because there's one in teacher study. This is a teleportation circle. Oh, dope. I've seen On that before, ship? too. Yep. Yeah, Wait, this is broken. broken. But you don't know it. Um, <laughs> How okay. has nobody thought of this before? <laughs> <laughs> I had this idea on the way to work the other day, and I said, holy shit, and I pulled over and wrote it in my notes. <laughs> Such a good idea. You would never run out of... Oh my gosh, how has nobody thought of this? Right? Just call me a genius, and let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> so, on this dock, and... No, oh, sorry, hold on. I forgot the main companion. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so the ATB you drag onto the boat. Um, there are Wait, th we're the real geniuses. We have our own lifeboat. <laughs> and there are two lifeboats you see over in this direction. <laughs> um, but uh, while uh, uh, Valor says, uh, I will give you the tour, and uh, Emperor and Yuck, you can stow the lifeboat. And then uh, Emperor goes, oh yeah, okay, I can do that. Come on, Yuck. And then they, uh, they take the ATB and tie it to the back of the ship. 
a la Sea of Thieves. Um, <laughs> so that's going to be there. It is tied to the back of the ship. Um, yeah. Unless you want it somewhere else. So, uh, you... Ch- uh, <laughs> he goes, Lady? And sees you behind him. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Me and you, we're gonna do great things. Can you, like... He just looks and cocks his head. Can you mimic the captain's voice? Oh, Emperor, not there! Oh, please, not there! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> And then Emperor goes, hey, 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 no, 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 that, no, oh, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Wait, how do you, you're a bird, and you then, have a, and Yurt goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> and anyway. That beak's been places. <laughs> Yurt just nods, and Emperor, like, <laughs> blushes, if a bird can blush. <laughs> Alright, so, he's a peeping Tom. <laughs> I mean, walls on a ship are very thin. Oh, no. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so, okay. the crew's only, like, three people? Who are you talking to right now? Are you talking to your... Like, yeah, like, anybody around me. Oh, well, uh, you hear Valor uh, yell up to you. Um, and, point of order, this is a relatively long ship, so, I mean, about... It's real size, so about 100 feet tail. tail. Yeah, it's a big um, ship for only three people. Yes, and she says... Um, no, we actually have one more. Uh, our quartermaster is down below at the moment, making sure that everything is ready. Uh, I am your captain, I forgot to mention this, but, uh, uh, Emperor is our navigator, I think I said that. Um, he will make sure that we are on the right track, and, uh, Yurk is our mage, who will, uh, make sure that we have all of our supplies. Unnecessary when we get there, as well as protecting the ship. Uh, we did have a much larger crew, but unfortunately the Queen dispatched uh, those to uh, White Anvil because there was a, uh, a terrorist attack there. Wait, a terrorist attack? Yes. Uh, during the uh, Festival of Brilliant Dawn. Uh, have you not heard of this? Oh yeah, big ship. You was... Did, were you there? Yup. No, we have no idea. Things on make fire. A, make a deception check. With disadvantage because Honk is actively saying yes. She uh, she looks at you with uh, with great interest, Honk, and looks looks between your friends. Yeah, she says, "Oh my goodness, what was it like?" A lot of fire. People die everywhere. Honk used to it though. Not too bad. Well, you all seem like you have many stories to tell. How about we uh, we get sailing and then maybe you uh, we have a lot of time at sea. Maybe you tell me some of your stories. Okay, and she Hawk gives you a, she gives you a wink and slaps your cheek with her tail as she walks past. Oh. Um, there are stairs leading Hawk down like this boat. right here, uh, leads you down to the uh, the main deck. Oh wait, I'm sorry. This is the main deck. This is all attached, right? So so this is one height, and that's the same height. This is the height that you guys have been on. So you guys have been here. Oh okay. Sorry. Oh okay. Sorry. 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 Good. Good. So yeah, you guys have been here, and oh gosh. How <laughs> everybody went to the same one. Okay, um, so uh, and she says, uh, "In so here are some quarters. Uh, this is where uh, my quarters are here, here, right here." Uh, she points, uh, making sure Hawk, no. <laughs> making hey. sure that everybody knows where her quarters are. Uh, she hey. says, uh, "This is where those uh, bird brain fellows live." And uh, from the top deck, you hear, "Hey, that's not nice." <laughs> And she says, oh, it is only a joke, you know. Um, <laughs> oh, yes, racism. Funny. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this is, this is uh, uh, my office. This is where I handle paperwork and the like. Uh, you know, paperwork. Uh, I don't know what this room is, but probably nothing. Um, <laughs> down these like stairs. Hammocks. Yeah, those are hammocks for the crews that are not here no more anymore. <laughs> wow, that was weird. I turned into a certain person. Anyway, um... So down here there are more cannons if uh, we need to attack, um, and uh, a yuck can show you the ropes around that. Um, this is a dining hall, and uh, this is storage. Uh, these are some more beds for you to stay in. 
Uh, you may choose your beds uh, wherever you are at. Honk, get back in the ship. Oh, sorry, sorry. I did not know your name yet. <laughs> uh, down these steps, uh, most storage. Uh, although at this point, it is mostly empty. You see that this uh, this deck is uh, mostly devoid of uh. much. You see chests with each of their names on them. But otherwise, there is one bed over here, and that's about it. Um, no, I don't want to restart. I want to go peek at her today. chest. Peep at her. <laughs> uh, you look at it. It uh, it's like a darker purple than her skin is. Uh, it's very pretty. Mm. It has a clasp hey. on it that appears to be. Locked. Hey honk, honk. Uh, hey. Wait, you all the way up there? How you talk to me? <laughs> I haven't moved my token yet. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that bird guy up there? Uh huh. He's smashing the captain. <laughs> what? I'm whispering, honk. by the way. Honk, ask him for tips later. I don't oh think God. you have a chance, Honk. No, that okay. Honk package much, much bigger than his, it'd be okay. He's a bird, Honk. He doesn't have a package. Oh, then she'll be in for big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be very happy. Okay. Anyway, why is there blood stains on the floor over here? Oh, that is from a previous why, adventure. Why does it look like slave pens? <laughs> They're not slaves. Some This ship has been used to uh, hold a, a livestock from time to time. That is where we store horses before, uh, before we started using the teleportation method of transporting things. At this point... But those are human manacles, lady. <laughs> this, oh no, that is for uh, that is a different kind of dungeon. Um, she at this point. Oh, I see. Emperor comes down, leading Whoa. your horse. And says, "Hey, so uh, I, I, this horse, you want it coming with us? I need to get a fucking horse token. What the hell? I mean, yeah. How are we? How are we gonna move the ATB otherwise? I don't yeah, know we need is. horse. Okay. Well, here we go, and puts puts your horse, who you haven't named, uh, <laughs> in this pen. We should probably name horse. it Horse. Yeah, I thought we named it Horse. Oh, I think we did name is it that Horse. Right? Okay. I think yeah. so. Sure, Horse yeah. for me. Okay, so Horse is in there. Uh, and he says, Alright, so uh, are we about ready to cast off, Captain? And she says, uh, Yes, I think so. I just finished giving the tour, and... Uh, Maybe. Wait, what other person on ship? You said other person here. Yes, I was just about to ask that. Uh, maybe we should look for, we should look for old Esten. Yes, and he says. Okay. Oh, I mean, okay. it's ship where they hide, nowhere to go. Where are we staying? Oh, you may pick the beds that you would like. Uh, some beds are definitely better than others. <laughs> <laughs> and the ones at the front of the ship are way less comfortable because that is what hits the waves. On the latest one up here, lady. This is a rack. <laughs> This is a torture rack. This isn't a bed. You pull people's bones on this. Um, hey, no, that is a massage room. table. <laughs> <laughs> There's skeletons in this. Oh. You get out. I was oh. on the bed. Sorry. Oh, are those? Oh, they are skeletons. Oh, how awkward. <laughs> Wait, that's a cat of nine tails. You do not right. need to kink shame me on my own ship. Little bubble. <laughs> okay, <laughs> head upstairs. <laughs> Honk right. creep bed already. Honk ready. Um, yes, and at this point, uh, out of uh, the uh, dining room walks a shorter man. Shorter, actually, a little taller than Zuskel. So in between Zuskel and um, Yurk, and uh, he has oh, red hair parted down the middle with a Y, like a wide uh, red mustache that connects to sideburns. He is sort of a portlier fellow and he goes, Hey everybody, how you doing? Wait, wait, how, how tall is Yurk? Yurk is about three feet tall. What? So he's Jazzeraz's height? I'm two foot eleven, so just about, yeah. Oh, okay, so he's about three and a half. I'm sorry, I misspoke it. Oh, oh, he has to be bigger than me. <laughs> yeah, I see. Your beak is longer than his. Your it's on it's in the uh, compendium. No, 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 not your. I'm sorry. The 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 the, the Ashton. Man, this scan. Yes. Well, hey everybody. My name's Ashton. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. No. I hate everybody on this ship. <laughs> Except your. <laughs> Uncle, like captain. 
Well, thank you. Estin, we will be oh, casting oh. off soon. Get all of the lines ready and uh, the uh, the masts, you know, ready. I know about you. Don't hog mast. Don't ready. condescend me. <laughs> <laughs> um, she steps back up and uh, goes to the main deck. Yerk is working on some of the sails. Uh, Estin goes. Well, hey, what are what are all your names? Oh, I was like, what voice is this? And I realized it was Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, my name is Aston. Yo, yo, yo. I'm Zisco. Honk. Kit. Oh, 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 sorry about oh, that, oh. little lady. Uh, oh, 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 I'm sorry. I got three left feet. Oh, do no see no, huh? <laughs> well, that was awkward. I'm Rankari. Stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> She hides behind Hawk. No. <laughs> Gotta admit, it's not the first time I've heard that yet. Anyway, let's go get the <laughs> ship here. This guy's the peeping Tom. <laughs> yeah. We get real close on this ship. Hmm. Another point of order. If anything what? happens to the captain, I'm in charge. So, uh, please, uh... What happened to captain? If anything happens to the captain. Like what? Like... She gets a cold, like, or, like sex, like you know, like, <laughs> like if she dies or drowns or fornicates Are with a half orc or you know, <laughs> sometime result in death. Understand? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I've read hentai anyway. Ew. What? I don't like you. What's that? Oh, my. Uh, that's fen that's fencing in art books, basically. Mm. Anyway, let's go get the ship ready so we can get the heck out of here. I don't know if I want to go anywhere with this guy. <laughs> yeah, Honk don't like this. Honk gonna wait in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the captain's room. I don't think she'd appreciate that. Honk knows it's captain room. It's okay. She knocks on the ceiling above you and says, Please get out of my room. We need to get ready to go. Honk, wait for you. It's okay. She says, I'm not afraid to use the manacles downstairs, you know. Don't threaten Honk with good time. <laughs> Okay, so over the course of the next uh, half an hour, uh, all of the crew uh, starts to show you guys how a ship works, what some of the lines are called and sails and everything. Um, Yurk tells you, uh, he walks up to Jazzaraz and goes, I will show you about these weapons later. And uh, in a very like stunted way, um, kind of like piecing uh, phrases together. And then he goes, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, that sounds good, huh? And then walks away. <laughs> um, no. <and> he goes, <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, yep, the crew's getting ready. And then eventually you guys cast off. Um, you see all of the other, actually, you guys are the last ship to cast off. Um, hold on, let me put some travel music on. Um, out of, it, it basically goes left to right, and you guys are the rightmost ship, so, um, to keep all of the, you know, wakes in, not from disrupting each other, one at a time, and eventually you guys are out at sea, you feel the rocking of the waves beneath you, uh, Zeskel, you get a little afraid. Yes, that's why she's staying by the pillar here. <laughs> yep. Um, so yeah, um, most of, oh, let's see, he's down here with you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, what would you guys like to do? This is going to be an adventure, and this first day can be whatever you want. I was going to try and find a room. Okay. Feel free to look around. Are these rooms down here too? Yeah. Or is it just this one? Yeah, so this is a room. There are two beds here. Um, there are a bunch of cots right here. They're like hammocks. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so those would be your options, probably. Or you can set up your bedroll anywhere. Just might get stepped on. Okay, but not these two rooms? Oh, no, that is a room. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Yeah, you can be in these rooms. I was, sure. I was confused about that. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Uh, I'll take this room. Wait, I got C ambiance for a reason. Ooh. Well, I'll take this room, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see how it is. No, 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 no. Just I want her own room for once. 
Oh shit! Wow. All right. Um, She's conflicted. That, that okay honking this one uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, after you guys all find your beds, and you find that the quarters aren't uh, super nice or lavish, it's not even up to par with where you stayed last night, but it is kind of homey, and though none of you have really, well, except for Jazz Rats, none of you really have your sea legs. <laughs> Honk, you kind of have your air legs, but it's a little, actually, no, with your jacket, you find that you yeah, are at home it. on this boat. Yeah. Um, you do not have to, like, you do not have to adjust to the waves at all. Like, your body even, uh, you feel, like, predicting the fall of the and rise of the waves. Um, you're strangely at home at sea. Um, but the rest of you, it's a, it takes some time to get used to, especially at scale. Um, but you end up setting up your rooms, um, kind of brushing off uh. your beds a little bit, making it your own area. Um, and then I'll say that that takes probably um, up till about noon. And then uh, that's when... Uh, where are you staying, Hawk? You're in this bed? Yeah. Okay, Jazzaraz, where's your bed? Oh, I'm setting up my tent on the upper deck. <laughs> I'm I dead. thought that was the bird's man room. Oh, that's true. These are the bird's oh. room. Okay. Um, this one then. Okay. <laughs> um, awesome. And there's like a little cotton there, I'll say. Yeah. Uh, and then at some point, Yerk comes down and announces to all you guys, It's lunch time! Hmm. And he goes, Wake up, you sleepy fool! <laughs> it's lunch time. Oh. Fool, lunch time, and then goes back downstairs. I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> he goes, uh, everybody, it's, uh, it's time to eat some food. Uh, hey. Lunch time, fool. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> uh, glimmer, yeah. save me. Um, and then. Oh, yeah. glimmer. So. <laughs> <laughs> comes back around and you find that Valor is already sitting at the head of the turtle. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> in the water. Uh, right there. We'll just say sure. Um, oh. Hey. oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. Hey. Oh, we always oh, have oh. this issue. It's like one of those slide puzzles. Stop standing on the table. Yeah, right. <laughs> So, how are you liking your first day at sea? I don't like yeah. it. It's a lot nicer than the last time I was at sea. Oh. It's fun. And what was that? Well, I had a canoe that I carved myself and one oar, and I was in the middle of the Slender Sea. In the Slender again. Sea? Yeah. Is that true? Yep. That is no small feat, little kobold man. Yeah. I'm very impressed. This is something that I do not even think that uh, I could do. Or even, uh, even Estinia. And he goes, well, yep, I don't think I could do that. Technically, anybody could do it if they had the same help that I did. And uh, what's that, little buddy? Have you ever heard of Glimmer? Oh, no. oh Glimmer. And I will proselytize the entire meal. <laughs> <laughs> For instance. <laughs> For instance. So there I was at sea with nothing but a paddle and a spear. Not Wait, even what, any what, clothes. What I'd ate them a long time ago. What are we having for lunch? Yeah, what, what's for lunch? Um, it is actually slightly more extravagant than you'll probably have later. Um, it's, it's actually a nice warm stew, which is nice because mm. it was a very cold morning. Cold autumn morning. Um, and the waves crashing, it's made you very cold, and especially those who haven't been at sea yet, this is um, an unfortunate new experience with all the sea spray is cold, and the wind is cold, and everything is cold. So this <laughs> stew is very nice and warm. Um, Monk pretends that his spoon is a boat while Jazaraz is talking, and he's just like okay. spooning, like, like toting his, his spoon. Toting <laughs> his spoon. Yeah, making little noises, like pew pew. Oh, look how cracking. Oh. <laughs> And Siskel is just, like, nibbling on her food because she's really nauseous yeah. from the waves. <laughs> and, uh, wait, hold on. Where is, uh, where's Emperor? 
Who was yeah, on you top of him? Oh, he's yeah. all the way up at the top. Buddy! He goes. He's a penguin. They don't eat for like eight months out of the year or something, right? He, yeah, that's true. He goes, uh, You're saying that this uh, glimmer helped you cross the sea? Well, there I was. As I said before, I was rudely interrupted. There I was. On, <clears throat> there I was on the sea with nothing but a spear and a paddle because I'd already eaten all my clothes. And uh, all of a sudden, this great torrent of water shot into the sky and it rained fish upon my boat and I ate them. And there she was, the great bronze dragon glimmer. Well, that's very neat. Yep. I liked you better when you didn't talk about her all the time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Ow. You'll pay for that. Uh-oh. Okay. I thought we had something special. <laughs> what? Little pill. Crafty dog. On the statue. I don't. What are you talking about? You betrayed about? me like that. Oh my gosh, don't act like that. I don't know what Giant you're talking feet. about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. The skull doesn't remember our most fun moment together. You have As fun? She got her drunk. She probably just doesn't remember it. I didn't get her drunk. She chose to get drunk. I think that you made her get drunk. <laughs> what? Just go got drunk. drunk. I don't know what drunk is. When you drink too much alcohol, then you get drunk, and sometimes you don't remember it afterwards. Uh... Shannon speaks from experience. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Did I really get drunk? Yep, and we put a hat on top of a goddess's statue. It was hilarious. Why is that funny? Oh, <laughs> the well, the captain takes a big swig, just smiling and sitting back in the chair. She has her well, boots crossed up on the table, just smiling at you guys. It won't seem funny now because we're not drunk anymore. Okay. You'll understand when when we do it again. <laughs> when Whoa. you're older, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you when. You're uh, older. okay. Anyway. All right, Confused. never mind. I'm never talking to Zaskel again. <laughs> <laughs> you all have so many great stories. Now, uh, what was the stories that you had, Mr. Honk? Oh, uh, which one? Uh, the one that you were telling me up on the deck. Oh, about everyone die? Yeah, a lot of fire. Lots of fire. Mm. Oh, yes, it's the tale of White Anvil, yes. What's a fire? Yep. <laughs> and why does it burn? <laughs> Little Mermaid, no? Okay. I have uh. no idea what you are talking about. But that so, is alright, we're having fun on this we ship. Go, we go to tower and um, kill thing in tower and man give us... Honk don't remember what we get from that. Don't really know why we went there either. But we kill thing in tower and then listen to speech at real boring. Honk get distracted. Um, and then fire everywhere. Fire. Airship and sky go pure and fire, yeah. Ah, so it was an airship. Yup. Interesting. See, we took bets on what it was. If it was a drake or an, a ship, like you said, oh. or some sort of... What angel. did you bet on? Oh, I thought it was a ship. Oh, okay. Because Honk would lie and make sure you win if it wasn't, but that you is... already bet, right? So. Yeah, very kind of you, sir. And, like, uh -huh. tips her hat to you. Honk tips his as well. <laughs> How do you tip a beanie? Um, he has a cowboy hat. Oh, that's true. On top much. of both beanies. Oh. Actually, she doesn't yeah. wear a hat. Instead, she takes her hood off and kind of like ruffles her long uh, white hair. Oh, What a weird thing to do. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, just like shakes it out. Anyway, uh, she says... Tonight we will uh, discuss our plan with you, because I think that uh, you all have not had this plan yet, correct? Honk don't listen to plan most of the time, so not real person to ask on this. What about if I tell you the plan? Honk try to listen very hard. <laughs> she smiles. No um, promises. <laughs> she says... We will go over this together tonight, over dinner, for now. Uh, we can 
get used to the company and uh, you know just try to get used to the sea it takes a while to get your sea legs although it does you two do not seem to take very long nope and uh emperor goes yeah, so if anybody wants to play cards with me later, I'll just let me know. Uh, I, I know a few games we could play as a group, too. That would be fun. <laughs> Finally whipping out the card game. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I spent hours on that. <laughs> Let's all agree to not play any of them. <laughs> I'm not much of a gambler. <laughs> yeah, Honk don't like cards. <laughs> oh, okay. And he looks very disappointed. His, like, his, uh... Yellow crest kind of droops a little bit. Oh, wait, no, I think Hong actually does like her. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, so you guys end up eating lunch. If you guys don't talk about anything, go for it. Otherwise, lunch ends and you guys go back about your business. So, is there anything you guys want to do this afternoon? I'm climbing I'm to, the top to play of the cards. Table. Top of the tuning fork. Okay, and you're gonna just rest in the <laughs> tuning fork. Yup. Okay. Um, what do you? What are the rest of you doing? Hawk wants to play cards. Top and throw up. Oh. <laughs> okay. Constitution check. Or saving throw. Sorry. For the skill. Yep. It's all stew. Like everything you've eaten Ew. in the past, Aww. like two days, is okay. out of you. You are out of food. <laughs> um, and don't feel very good. Uh, what else are you guys doing? Playing cards with the penguin. Okay. Uh, he'll set up at this table down here. Um, and at one point... Oh, uh, Yurk will join you guys. Hi. Valor is going to keep steering. And uh, Esten will go up to Jazaraz at some point and say, Hey, buddy, do you know what that does? <clears throat> Oh, okay, well, in that case, uh, and looks at you and looks out to the sea and goes, twiddle, twiddling his thumbs. Uh, oh, you're saying uh, you're on the phone with your mom? Okay, well. Gazaraz has a mom? Is, is that who Glimmer what? is? <laughs> who Glimmer? Uh, what, what are Kit and Rikari, what are you guys doing? It's trying to, like, figure out how these work. How the cannons work? Oh, sure. Yeah. So it is more like bolt throwers than cannons. Oh. Um, so it's like basically a large crossbow. Um, but the there is like no propulsion mechanism. It seems magical to you until you look like under... Make a, Actually, make a, a Tinker Souls check. Okay. Ah. I must have thieves tools. Same thing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, until you look under it and you see all these gears turning, and actually, although someone might mistake it for magic, it is actually completely mechanical. Um, these bolts are loaded in a large quiver, um, almost like, I don't know, like, a, like an automatic turret sort of thing, and basically you pull a crank and uh, press two buttons at the same time to fire it, and then the next bolt loads. So in this time, you've completely figure out how to use it without firing any bolts. Um, <clears throat> and there are a couple special bolts on uh, one of the sides of each one. One of them has a rope tied to it, almost like a harpoon. Another one seems... Actually, a couple seem to have explosive tips. Mm. Um, she does not touch this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She stays very far away. Uh, let's take a quick five real quick. I need to uh, make my wife some daiquiris. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Rinkari, what are you doing, by the way? Uh, Rinkari is just gonna train his monk fighting skills. He's on the sea. Okay, sure. Sounds good. BRB, yep. everybody. What was, uh, Weirdo saying to me? Asking you about your mom. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. He said, hey, do you know what that's for, little guy? And he's, like, barely taller than you. <laughs> Uh, first of all, I'm like at least six feet taller than you right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, point taken. Second of all, 
I don't really care. Okay. But it's what pretty does it cool. Do? <laughs> oh, I thought you I thought you didn't care. What does it do? Oh no 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 I'm not gonna tell you. Alright, that's fine. You can just go be a weirdo, I guess. No wait! I'm not! I swear I don't care what you heard. You are uh, you are the creepiest guy I've ever met. Oh no, I'm not! I like knitting. I'm a normal guy. Don't you see my mustache that turns into my hair? What kind of a <laughs> what kind of a weird guy is that? Anyway, uh, anyway, what's the tuning fork yeah, do? It's not actually a tuning fork. It's actually like a magic sort of cannon. It, uh, Yerk uses it to like burst other ships on fire. It's crazy. So what happens if he uses it while I'm in it? Oh, you die. <laughs> like, actually, I'm not sure. He might be able to like launch you he always tells me to get away from him except he says this it in is... my voice which i i don't really appreciate so you're saying that he could launch me to another ship with this thing yeah potentially all right i'm gonna have to talk to him about that <laughs> okay uh so scale still hurling uh rinkari make a uh, dex check okay Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, you're uh, you're trying to bust some moves, but oh. you accidentally like like you close your eyes trying to hone your key. Oh whoa! And... Sorry, hold on. I have ants everywhere. What the fuck? Oh, oh my! How'd they get on the boat? Yeah, right. What the <laughs> fuck? That's gonna be a problem. Um, and you accidentally like kick your foot into the door or, or the wall between you and the horse, and the horse you hear goes <gasps> and starts freaking out on the other side of the wall. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he goes. Oh. Um, what? Nothing. Uh, okay, honk. Yeah. So Emperor Hold says. Up. I can't remember his voice. Hey, oh, oh, oh uh, Owen Wilson. Hey, uh, uh, what, uh, have you ever played Liar's Dice before? No. Oh, you want to? Sure. Okay, so here's how it goes. We all have these cups, right? And he holds up a cup and hands you a cup, and Yerk has his own cup. Um, cup. And we have all of these dice, and they're all, like, a bunch of D6s. Is this Yahtzee? No. I don't know what that is. Okay. Though you do yell Yahtzee when you win, so I don't know. Oh. Okay. So, so uh, here's how it goes. So, basically, we're trying to see uh, who's a liar and who's a not liar. Uh, <laughs> so, everybody has five of these dice, and then... Uh, you have to roll your dice and then keep it a secret. So uh, just do a, you have to do a slash GM roll and 5d6. Basically, I'm going to not do it in character because that's fucking annoying. Uh, you roll 5d6. Everybody does. I mean, all the three people playing. And then you have to guess how many of a certain number. So you could guess, for instance. Uh, yeah, so it's we're not going off total. We're going each of the values. So oh. uh, you could, so you know what you roll. But you don't know what the other people roll. So uh, you can say, like, I bet that there are three fours. So that's you saying there are uh, three dice that are either, or that are four between you and the other two people. And then if somebody thinks that's not true, then they can call you a liar. And then if you lie, you lose. And everybody shows their dice. If that makes sense. How do I know if I'm lying or not? You don't know if you're lying. So. <laughs> okay, Honk, understand. Okay, we're going. Honk, Every... roll already. Okay, roll your dice. Okay. Wait, did you see that? No. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, this is stupid. Uh, there's only one player character. You win, Honk. Oh, okay. Yay. How'd you do that? Um, Honk really good at game. Wow, apparently. Have you played this before? No. You rolled the you rolled the Queen Sixes. Whoa. Queen. You should go tell Valor about that. Okay. I run upstairs. Well that was easy. He whispers after you leave. <laughs> um Hi. <laughs> oh uh, hello hello. How are you? And she's just looking ahead, staring, barely looking at you. She's trying to look past 
Jazzleraz, who is sitting on top Hi. of the uh, tuning fork. <laughs> yes, I'll roll queen sixes. Oh, did you? Yup. <laughs> that is fine. Impressive, yes? Hey. She looks slightly confused, but you probably can't tell. Um, nope. <laughs> okay, bye. What's happening on this show? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the rest of the day passes, unless you guys want to do anything. No? Okay. So, uh, at the end of the day, you guys reconvene for dinner. Uh, Valor uh, meets you down for dinner, and uh, the whole gang is here. Uh, boom. Okay. Um, and... Once everybody is uh, together again, we have Thanks. leftover soup, out of my space. <laughs> uh, which is nice because Eskel had lost all of her stew somehow. Um, so yeah, maybe she... they'll actually taste it this time. <laughs> she is not here, but there is some kind of rebuke happening. Um, <laughs> uh, and you hear uh, also point of order the whole day. You have seen the other ships; they're keeping a pretty close, like within a hundred feet of each other, uh, a breadth. Uh, so there's enough room for you to intervene if something goes wrong. Um, so people are keeping an eye. And the ship seems to steer itself. At least all of you think so, because when everybody is down uh, uh, below deck, you don't seem to hit anything. Um, and Fowler says, So, would you like to hear our plan? Okay. What plan for what? For this, uh, this whole adventure. Why we are going there in the first place. I thought we were just delivering some stuff. Well, yes, but there's a blockade around the fancy nights. This is no easy yep. task. A few kill blockade. Destroy. We're blockade runners? Well, sort of. This is plan B. We have enough firepower to uh, sort of disrupt uh, the blockade, but all of these ships are equipped to be blockade runners. Um, there are larger ships that probably will not do this so well. Ours is one of the smaller ships, so we have a good chance of being able to run it if we need to. But that is why all of the ships are equipped with the teleportation circles. So that, uh, and why every ship has a mage on it. So someone like Yurk, and Yurk kind of nods and goes, Yurk. Um, <laughs> uh, I love this guy. <laughs> someone like Yurk can... And he goes, <laughs> uh, can, uh, <laughs> uh, someone like Yuck can talk to the, uh, the Royal Legion and get all of the supplies on any ships that they need. So if one ship gets there, we have all of the supplies that we would bring to the Isles. So it is a very good uh, plan, I think. But the problem is we have not been to the Isles and we cannot see if they have blocked magically any uh, sort of uh, projection so the mages, even the best mages, the archmages, they are not able to see these uh, these ships. Um, I do not know what you know about these forces that we are fighting. But uh, there is something that they call themselves uh, the Consortium. And she uh, takes her feet off the table and leans forward on her elbows and she says, These are not good people. They, uh, they are using ships both on the water and in the sky. They seem to be a ragtag group of people from all walks of life that uh, just aim to disrupt the, uh, you know, the natural order of the world. And they're trying to get a lot of uh, money and riches and that sort of thing and power. Uh, cheating, which is not good. Um, and they have had very underhanded tactics. They are uh, killing people and uh, they've, they've tried to take over some islands. Uh, north of the Fencian Isles, and they have and murdered most of the populace. But uh, there's also this other force that we do not know much about. Uh, they seem to come from this green mist precedes them, and ships, hundreds of ships, will come from this green mist, and they will do whatever havoc they can, and then they will disappear into green mist once more. And we do not know. They seem to appear out of nowhere and disappear too, as if they have control of the seas themselves. Uh, we, have been, we have been calling these the Green Armada, and we do not know uh, what they can do or when they will strike, so that is why we have tried to come prepared as we can. 
but for now we hope to be able to bust through the blockade with all 15 of our ships. But if something goes wrong, we will take the initiative and go for the Isles. And that is where you all come in, because you see, we had a very uh, well armored guard and they were sent to White Anvil and see, the ship wasn't going to be able to go to the Isles after all. But uh, when you joined our crew, uh, we are able to go again, so you know what that means, yes? No. We're bodyguards. More or less. Oh, okay. Do you know how to fight? Yup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've killed a lot of things and people. Dragon! She grins, and you see her, like, pointed teeth uh, glint in the firelight. Uh, she says, that is good. That is who we need on this trip. Dead people? Uh, no. <laughs> well, not us, but us the dead people, yes. In any case, that is our plan. If you have any questions, please ask. Question. Yes. When we kill people. Yes. When? Oh, when? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought that was a comma, but that was a question mark. Um, <laughs> uh, we kill people when we get closer to the Isles, I assume. So there is any number of terrors on the sea, and that is why we must be ever vigilant. Okay. Kraken? I do not know about that. The, uh, the Agarian Sea, I do not know how many times you've been out here. Never. Oh, wait, no. Honk lie. One time. One time? It oh, can't no. be worse than the Slender Sea. Not really. Honk over on air, not in sea, so really never. Um, There's a bit of interesting uh, history to the Slender Sea, you see, actually. And she puts her feet back on the table and leans back now, uh, putting her tankard down and grabbing a small pipe that's, uh, like, carved out of... It looks actually almost like a, uh, like a unicorn horn. Um, and it has a really pretty design, like, carved into it. And she just, like, takes a couple puffs of it and says, Yes, this land see when, uh, Doreen and Elia split at the Calamity. Do you know much about this? Yeah, I watched the play reenactment of it before the festival got bombed. Oh, that is a good one, yes. Uh, the, uh, the Slender Sea, when it was created, the, uh, there was all sort of manner of, uh, what do you call it, uh, the people? Dragon. No, well, sort of. Aberrations. But, yes, from a different plane, the Far Realms. Dragon. It is, uh, they sprang to life into this world. It opened uh, sort of rifts into many other planes. Uh, some, yes, into the water elemental planes. So in the Agarian seas, this has been way older, and there have not been any uh, Kraken sightings in many, many years. Could have just said no. Don't need history lesson. You know, Glimmer can kill those things. Ooh, Glimmer. Oh, can she? Yep. I saw her do it. That is very impressive. Yep. Maybe uh, you'll tell me more about this glimmer, huh? And uh, oh, what? I can tell you all about her. And what gifts oh, no. she bestows? What? She bestows gifts, yes. Yes, but only to certain people. And, and by uh, certain people, I mean me. Ah, so it is a closed club, huh? And uh, Eston goes. Well, that doesn't sound very inclusive. It isn't inclusive. I never said it was. Onk steals some of Rinkari's food. <laughs> Are you trying to be stealthy? No. Okay. Rinkari, you noticed. Oh, uh, oh, oh, Pado's muted. Um, I, um, I try to steal some of it back. I raise my hand to slap him across the face if he touches my food. <laughs> Do you touch his food? I glare him back down. <laughs> that hand looks pretty big. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, roll a d6 for me. <laughs> nice. Right. Also, I'm not talking, but I am here. I am vacuuming because one of them bit my foot. No. <laughs> You're vacuuming no, because I don't have any on them, and then I turn and look, and two of my napkins are covered with like thirty fucking ants, and I'm like, oh mm. god. So I am here. I'm just not talking. Okay. <laughs> so 
How so you like? There's so many ants around you. <laughs> Dude, I am so mad. <laughs> and uh, uh, Yurt goes. I am so mad. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's the best. This guy's Keep the fighting. best. <laughs> and sits back in his chair. Green. Sound like Red Kari now. Go, 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 Red Kari. <laughs> That's uh, good, Red Kari never talks. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Emperor goes, uh, yeah, he, he's pretty good at impressions. Uh, actually, uh, that's about all he can do. He doesn't have much of a voice himself. I heard they were cursed by a vengeful god. <laughs> and then he goes, vengeful god. And oh, that's a lot, taking another sip of his drink. <laughs> okay, so, when we kill thing. Uh, this I do not know. But I will say, stay ever vigilant. Hopefully we will not have an incident before we get to the Isles. But that is I still... I hope we do. I'm ready to kill something. Okay, good night. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a refill. <laughs> You're neat. Anyway. I'm neat. No, I told my wife she's neat. Uh, oh. So, you guys... Uh, Eggs. Finish it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> uh, wife? <laughs> uh, so you guys finish your dinner, and uh, it is... Uh, Renkarian kit, it's probably about seven or eight now. The stars are out in the sky, and this is the first time that you guys can see the night sky at sea. Jazaraz in a while, Honk in a while, the rest of you in ever. Uh, it's very cool, and uh, you can see just stars for miles and miles. I mean, there's not very much light pollution, uh, you know, out in the countryside, but out at sea, there is nothing. Especially as you watch the her the uh, the land disappear on the horizon behind you, and then there's just water all around. Um, so this night, do you guys want to do anything? Is there anything you would like to do? Where are you at on the boats? All that jazz. I should I? I am here. I am here. <laughs> she is uh she is elsewhere in the boat <laughs> what emperor is gonna be steering he'll probably be tidying stuff up around then i want to find yerk uh okay takes him a while but eventually he goes down to the storage room hey yerk Jazzleraz. Oh no. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> that time the Jazzleraz got pulled over. <laughs> on the high seas. Got it's the boat police. <laughs> Those Coast exist. Guards coming for us. Yeah. Anyway, you're, what would it take you to launch me out of that slingshot? All of the riches in the world. <laughs> okay, how about one gold piece? Maybe a little more than that, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Two gold pieces. And it's like that scene from Avatar. <laughs> well, I couldn't say no to that, could I? And he winks. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, <laughs> what happens on this boat? <laughs> We're on a love cruise. <laughs> God, it really is. Um, we scale. have a different mission than everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys now look and you're not going the same direction as the other ship. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we took a sharp turn an yeah. hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> you well, haven't been moving, yeah. Uh, when the time comes and I need to get to the other boat then I want you to promise me that you'll launch me out of the slingshot. And you think that day will come? Yeah, of course. 
eventually we're gonna have to fight another boat. Like we're we're running a blockade, are we not? Some might say that. Okay, you're less cool to me now. <laughs> and then he goes. On second thought, I could not refuse a handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey. oh my god. <laughs> You're what happens on this boat exactly? <laughs> um a lot of sex and stuff. <laughs> I I need to leave. <laughs> I need to leave. <laughs> Don't Sorry, knock your... the boat. I'm I'm married to Glimmer. <laughs> And I leave without paying him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he goes, maybe some other times in. I just turn around, glare at him, and then go, and I'm going to set up one of the hammocks in between the forks of the tuning fork. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a lounge in it. Okay. Are you sleeping there tonight? Uh, no, I'll still sleep in my tent. Okay. Um... At one point, uh, Yurk will, yeah, go below deck, and, uh, Emperor will go, Oh, hey, hey, you guy. How, how you doing? Huh? Having a good relax? Yep. A good relax. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna go take a little nappy poo. Uh, do. Make sure we don't, no, that's not like a poo, that's more like a nap. No, I know, I just don't like that phrase. <laughs> So, uh, can you keep an eye on our on our heading? Uh, like drive the boat? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to do that. <laughs> We're gonna crash into all the other boats. Okay, great. And goes below deck. <laughs> I go and grab the wheel and start going like. <laughs> <laughs> Make a performance yeah. check. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's hard to, it's hard for a reptilian individual to go, kind of, but you can still make it work. And in your head, it sounds fantastic, <laughs> even though you don't know what a race car sounds like. Um, hey, I've, I've heard of those fancy mechanical Mustangs. machines. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, it's a good time. You, you have not had this much control in a while. Um, and you are driving a boat once more. Please make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I start like crossing myself. Glimmer, protect me on this journey. Glimmer, protect me on this journey. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Uh... Yeah, don't seem to feel anything. As, as usual. <laughs> usual, don't feel anything. Uh, do you have something to do anything this evening? I want to do someone this evening. <laughs> I mean, it seems like it's not too hard on this boat. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> like, even waiting. Yerk's hitting on me. Like, come on. <laughs> Dude's got a cloaca, too. What are we even going to do? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. Uh, at one point, uh, Valor turns out to a room and says, Oh, I did not expect to have a visitor. Hi. Hello. What? Uh... And she closes the door behind you. Or behind yourself. <laughs> and says, What can you tell me about your friends? Oh. And takes a like, seat on her desk or dresser here. And looking which at one? She like slowly takes off her boots without using her hands. She's just using your feet, kicks them off slowly. She says, Oh, any of them, what can you tell me? Um, the little lizard always angry. I don't think it because he's tiny, you know? <laughs> mm hmm. She nods. Um, he talk about dragon a lot. I this, don't know if it's true or not. Is this Glimmer? Yeah, Hunk don't know who Glimmer is. He was real angry for a while, but now he happy again. Well, happy, not right word. Less angry, I guess. <laughs> um, Kit like thing on fire a lot. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Like houses and stuff. Oh my. God. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. 
serial arsonist. Oh my god. <laughs> that's not someone good to have on a wooden ship. No, is it? Well, she fixed things a lot, too. Oh. She only burnt houses, and there's no house here, so I think boat okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. Um, she made little cat. A little cat? Yep. Seen a kitty cat? Mm-hmm. That is very sweet. It's, I would like to see this someday. Does it okay. Dance, dance, dance? Oh, yes. <laughs> just have to ask. She show it a lot. Hmm. Um, Zaskel really tiny. She very nice. She do magic. She seems like she is hiding a lot. Probably hiding that she's afraid of water because we on boat, you know. Mm. She she's drowned doing before. A very good... uh, she drowned before. Yup. Well, almost, I guess. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, I did not expect that one. I don't know much about Rankari. He never talked. Is that his, oh, uh, Ankh do remember people after Renkari though. People are after him. Yup. Said that, that is... at said that at Lady's house, Fire Lady House. Oh, that is not good. Nope. We talk to her after we kill someone. Oh my, a fire lady. Yup. She was on fire or Oh uh, or she liked Ankh really only like, remember Like ponytail. your friend Kit. She is a fire lady? <laughs> I don't really remember much, but remember Ponytail on fire, that for sure. Oh, I see. Jazzeraz, make a perception check. <laughs> this lady is a spy. Uh, you see on the horizon uh, dark clouds begin to form way in front of you. I like almost fall out of the hammock. I can. Oh no, it's happening again. <laughs> I, just, uh, I like hold on to the wheel. I'm like, ah, guys. There is no answer. <laughs> Over the crashing waves, you guys can't hear him. Guys. I can't let go of the wheel either. <laughs> guys, nobody on the upper deck. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, uh, I mean, there, uh, Honk, make a perception check. Guys! <laughs> Good luck with this, I'm sorry. Wow, I rolled a natural 20. Emperor comes oh. out. Uh, oh, oh, hey, oh, you hear him saying guys also. Uh, Emperor comes out and he says, Honk ignores hey. him. Uh, There's a storm hey. a-brewing! A storm? Oh, yeah. There's a storm a-brewing! <laughs> he steps up on the deck uh, with you and says, Oh, yeah, that happened to see. You know, little squalls, it'll pass. Oh, here, take the wheel back. What? Oh, okay, okay, I'll take it. I don't want to be responsible for this. I was taking a little nappy, but that's okay. No, it's, you, you need to do this. <laughs> and I go below deck. Well, okay, <laughs> but we won't hit it for, like, a few hours. No. <laughs> no. So what I set up my tent me? below deck. Okay, that is still on the main deck, so you have to go I below. I take it down and then <laughs> <laughs> So, what of your other friends? Um, Honk then covered all of them already. Talk about Kit, like, things on fire. Oh, is that Things like, right? like people, houses, not, like, ship. Right, right. I don't think he, she let people on fire, too. Not mm. really sure. People, you say? Yeah. Kind of fuzzy. Honk not really listen. Oh. But people in cages remember Kit. Honk remember that much. People in cages? Like, in yep. prison? Uh... No, maybe. Like, underground cave kind of thing? Honk don't remember that long time ago. Anyway, Zeskel, very nice. She the one that don't like boats. Uh, Renkari. Honk don't know what to say about Renkari. Honk don't really know him at all. He's the one with the staff, yes? Yeah. He... He seems Not like sick. he uh, is the kind of person to internalize a lot. Sure. He keeps Honk things don't to really himself. Understand. Oh, okay. I guess. <laughs> Honk guess. He don't say anything, so I guess he got to keep somewhere, you know? I guess so. Yup. And Tiny Lizard mad. Yes, we covered this is a mad Tiny Lizard before. Yup. That everybody. 
Wonderful. Well. And she like takes her uh, cloak off and says, "Shall we dance?" Fade to black. Oh. Boom. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> Jazzaraz, you set up your hammock below deck. Okay. Uh, Kit, you went to sleep. You said, or are you doing uh, other stuff? What are you doing? Kind of sit like on a crate or something, kind of tinkering and letting Gizmo run around. Okay. Uh, yeah, Gizmo is really seems to be enjoying it. Uh, what are you working on, if anything? Are you just tinkering absentmindedly? Yeah, just absent-mindedly. Okay, make a tinker tools check. Oh boy. Um. Yeah. Uh, tinkering just uh, in your hands, you. Over the course of maybe an hour or two, uh, you're not really keeping track of time, though you always seem to know what time it is. Just kind of trying to enjoy yourself uh, below deck as everything is swaying. You see lanterns on ropes swaying with every crash of a wave. And then in the silent bits, everything seems so eerily calm. There are noises above and all that. And as you're just thinking about all of this, Uh, You look down in your hands and you see a beautiful little ship, not unlike the one that you're on, except this one only has two sails, and you uh, press oars in on either side, and it begins hovering out of your hands, and it begins soaring, it kind of does a little, uh, it flies in this direction and up a little bit and around, and this flying ship uh, just kind of circles around you. Until you hold out your hand again and it rests in your hand and the oars pop out so that you can press them when you want to. Neat. And then she'll call Gizmo back and then go to sleep. Awesome. Anybody else? Okay! I'm I'm tying stuff down like storms are brewing. Storms okay. coming. Nobody seems to be taking it as seriously as you are, which <laughs> frustrates you. Yeah. Um. At the Eston will go up in the crow's nest, and we'll be. I'm actually going to make a little uh, place for the crow's nest. So if any of you want to be in the crow's nest, you can. Uh, also, Wait, there was a crow's nest. There is in the main mast. This changes everything. So the crow's nest is. Uh, probably like this big. It's okay. Well, it's not like ten feet across, but I'm gonna say it is because whatever. That's easier. Cool. So this will be the crow's nest right here, up top, hanging it's, over the water. Yeah. Well, because I can't put it over the boat, then we won't be able to tell. Okay. So if you want to be the crow's nest, that is where it is. So he is up there at the moment. Um, Rinkari, you just go to sleep? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, cool. So, the night passes mostly by that incident. Jazaraz, you have the weirdest dream. Oh, God. you're sleeping. You dream that you are back at the Festival of Brilliant Dawn, but instead of... And then you see, like, what happened at the end with the skyship, and then when the fire, when a fiery blast bursts onto you, it's just, like, cold sea spray. Like, you feel yourself drenched, and then all of a sudden the streets are just filled and flooding. And you see this, uh, like, uh, you see people, like, all around. You see uh, Vendragar and Bilaxia. You see Rose drowning in this water. You see Exalia with her hand just above the waves, as she's sinking and sinking. What do you do? Bad omen. Uh, um, hmm. So I'm just like... You are, you are like on a piece of like driftwood, I'll say. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I'm going to go for Exalia and try to rescue her. Okay, are you paddling? Uh, I'm going to look for another piece of wood that I can use as a paddle. Okay, you do. And you see one. Make a perception check. I'm very good at paddling. 
Oh, you see one. You see one that's like thirty feet away, and as you start like paddling towards it, you see like a ridge of the spine of some sort of aquatic animal, like mm-hmm. breach the water and tentacles behind it that are lo- ah! longer <laughs> than longer than the ATB, just kind of flick up and then disappear. <laughs> <and go away. laughs> Ah! And then uh, you look over and see Exalia. Her hand disappears under the water, and you wake up. And it is morning. Bad omen. Good morning. <laughs> Roll those hit dice. Just kidding. You I'm you'd probably up. don't have to. <laughs> so it is morning. It is day dawn of day two. I'm rushing to the upper deck. Two. Are we still afloat? We are, and the storm clouds are growing closer. They did, <sighs> They were far enough away that uh, with the headwinds, you didn't hit them yet. But <sighs> uh, you suspect, and uh, uh, what's-his-face, Esten confirms your fears that you will hit it. Uh, probably uh, in the next few hours, I assume. We need to get ready. This is gonna be bad. What makes you say that, buddy? I've received an omen from my god. Whoa, whoa, that, whoa, what kind of omen? A bad omen of death and water and tentacles. Uh, have you been reading my hentai? <laughs> <laughs> death in your porn <laughs> I'm not at liberty to say <laughs> I've received a dream from my god you, as you uh, as uh, you're saying this you see you hear your behind you say death in your porn <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh this guy <laughs> Um, I'm back. Neat. Hey, it is the next day. Okay. I was hearing some of that, but I I eventually just uh, had to leave my desk area because no. I like, can't get them all. So Gotta get those ant traps. Jazzeraz had a normal dream. Yeah. <laughs> guys, we're all gonna die. <laughs> As you guys come up on deck. Uh, actually, Honk, you wake up and the captain is missing. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Leave Honk wanting more. <laughs> Honk's gonna get like a whole collection of STDs by the end of this journey. <laughs> He's gonna really catch them all. Either that or have like a gaggle all. of children. <laughs> True. <laughs> wow. There are gonna be Porter so many colors. <laughs> Can't wait till the time people. skip when Honk has like 80 kids. <laughs> <laughs> Honk is just reconciling with all of his children. Oh, I can't wait. Um, <clears throat> the, the captain says, Okay, I will take over for now. Uh, please keep watch. Uh, we will need to brace ourselves. It looks like we will be hitting those. Uh, Emperor, what do you think? And he yells down from the ghost nice And he says, uh, Looks like uh, five and a half hours. He has like a spyglass that he's peering out of. She goes, Okay, five and a half hours until the storm hits, and uh, past it we cannot see, so it will be a long night, I am sure. Everybody needs to tie themselves to the boat, or we're all gonna get washed off off board. We're all gonna die and get dragged to the depths by the kraken. Kraken. <laughs> he says. Uh, Yurk says, "Death in your porn." <laughs> <laughs> I will continue to doomsay. Until the storm hits. Okay. So what do you guys I will do? destroy my throat if I keep doomsaying. Okay. But um, I will assume you keep. I assume that I am doomsaying. Yep. Seskel is just gonna hug the one of the pillars. Oh. I'm just very I, excited by this prospect of doomsaying. I hand excited. her a rope <laughs> to uh, tie herself to the deck. She just like starts tying herself, trying to not cry. <laughs> oh. Kit's actually gonna go up to her and like hold out the potion of water breathing again. Just um, do you do you want this back? Uh, it might make you feel a little bit better if you're holding on to it. <laughs> yeah. 
guys you can pay for it. You can pay for it. I don't need any of the gold back. You just hold on to this, okay? Thank you. Uh huh. It's gonna be okay. Wow, this goes the worst. Yeah. Charging <laughs> people for potions and then getting free handouts. <laughs> Jazz, make a wisdom save. <laughs> I'm already fraying. <laughs> but my faith in Glimmer keeps me sane. <laughs> yeah, you're able to hold on to your sanity <laughs> as all this is flashing you back. You manage to steal yourself even though you're still freaking out. At um, least there aren't eldritch abominations beneath the waters of this ocean. That is true, they're all in this land of sea. Um, <laughs> yep. Kraken. <laughs> Kraken. <laughs> Uh, okay, you do see. Uh, so over the next few hours, uh, what are you guys doing? Doom saying. Okay. Besides, I'm just hyping you... up the doom saying. Okay. Like whenever Jazzaraz <laughs> says something, he's like, "Yeah, yeah, <laughs> do shit, yeah." Rankari is getting as far away from the loud noises as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. Okay. Uh, you go below deck, um, just to prepare yourself, I suppose. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, so the day passes mostly without incident. You see the ships still, the other ships, off to your, uh, port side. And for the most part, easy day. Uh, you learn more about the boats, about the different, especially you, Kit, you really take to all of the different boat bits. Um, uh, uh, what's-his-face? Uh, Esten kind of takes you under his wing and shows you all about the boats. Uh, you never really sailing before. This is a whole new experience, and uh, just the machinery involved in making a boat work is really neat. Um, and it also appeals because you know that if Honk's dream comes true and there's violence, someone will need to fix the boat. Um, so, uh, yeah. Is you... there, like... Huh? Like supplies in the bottom of it yeah there are some supplies um okay. like especially like wood and yeah. metal scraps pulleys ropes you know extra lines if something bad happens that kind of well, stuff probably, is readily available for a while she'll probably just kind of like gather that all in a place where she can get it easily if she needs it <laughs> okay <laughs> awesome okay uh otherwise the day passes yeah mostly without incident until the storm breaks at about <laughs> Uh, maybe 3 or 4 p.m. Oh my god. Doom saying intensifies. I intensifies. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, yeah. It is, uh, the storm first, it's a lot of rain, and then you begin to see lightning in the distance. Uh, they, the thunderclaps happen, uh, increasingly, and... You guys, especially Jazzarez and Zuskel, you guys are not having a good time. You're really starting to worry and freak out. Um, the rest of you... I've tied more ropes, by the way. Oh, you are tying yourself to... I'm what are you tying, tying yourself even to? even more ropes. I've tied myself to Zuskel to the bow of the ship. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right. To all of my belongings. <laughs> I've, like, bundled them up and tied them to myself. <laughs> Brace for impact! <laughs> And at this point, Zaskel is just wailing beside him. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Honk, what are you doing? Just standing by, lead, helping with the hype of the doomsday. You need such a mean friend. No. Uh, while, he's very, while he's very terrified, Honk is very excited at the prospect of fighting something on the boat. <laughs> uh, okay, so Yurk uh, goes at the front to try to get a better eye. He actually, like, perches on top of the figurehead, uh, which is this really cool looking squid uh, with a Kraken! <laughs> sure. Um, and he's just like peering out into the into the uh, the wind, and his cyan eye is kind of glowing in the darkness, you guys witness. Um, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so you guys sail for a while, and excuse me, uh, Valor seems to be Pretty even cute about it. Wow, I'm all burpy. Sorry about that. <laughs> what is this uh, green what square? What? What is this green square, Austin? Did oh, you that's where his tent was set up. Um, <laughs> oh, moved it to where it is okay. set up. Oh, sorry, I killed it. Oh, it's fine because he took it down and tied it to himself. So. 
you can delete it. Delete this. Um, so yeah, uh, make another wisdom save, Jasmine. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Glimmer oh, no. can't save us now! <laughs> the end is nigh! Yeah, you're freaking out. <laughs> um, okay. So... Uh, yeah, you guys sail into this this uh, storm, and this sea just gets so dark. Like, you guys cannot see the other ships anymore, especially through the rain. The rain is so thick, and uh, thunder happens so often that it's, like, deafening. Um, it is so hard to hear each other over all of the thunderclaps and the rain. Uh, meanwhile, those of you who are on deck, you see... Uh, you see Valor, who is just valiantly steering uh, straight into the storm, knowing what her heading is. She has this purple compass uh, at her side, and she's just staring at it uh, as it spins wildly, and she just tries to keep on course, especially as there are huge swells that she's having to uh, navigate. Uh, Zaskel, make a, actually, everybody, make a constitution save. Oh. Everybody except for Honk, I'm sorry. Okay, I was gonna ask him my job. Okay. Actually, I gotta roll myself over to my desk. <laughs> Even. Oh no, Jazzeraz, Jazzeraz, you're fine. Okay. Okay, let's see. <laughs> With that nat one, you better be fine. <laughs> I was like, do I really have to use that roll? Alright, what am I doing? Uh, con, con. saving. Con saving. <clears throat> yep. Oh, that was an, that one isn't a saving. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, Kit and uh, Rinkar, you guys both hurl. Oh, good. <laughs> um, yes, and the storm just begin or just continues to intensify over the next hour or so. Um, Jazzeraz, you are freaking out. Zuskel, hor- you're having a horrible time. You hold your stew in, but it is not going well. Um, <laughs> no. Honk, I don't know what you're doing, man. <laughs> I'm just screaming. Just very excited, clapping a bunch, like <laughs> okay. throwing my fists to the sky. Gotcha. Um, it Zuskel, in the back of your head, in all this time, you hear the you hear a familiar voice saying, <laughs> "This is the right direction. We're going home." <laughs> Sedated soon. Oh my god, we're on a cult ship! <laughs> oh no! I don't know what that means! Um, Jazzeraz? Yep. Uh, you would like to untie yourself. I would? Yep. <laughs> what? Yeah, you would like to untie yourself. Are you sure? I, uh, 100% sure. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of ropes on me. It's going to take a long time. You feel the desire welling within you. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't be tied up right now. You begin, like, Ooh. getting claustrophobic and feel this need to get out of all these ropes. Ooh. Like, even being Ooh, tied boy. to Zuskel is freaking you out. If the boat sinks, I'm going down with it. I gotta get out of here. Oh, boy. And I start clawing at the ropes with my okay. talons. Okay, okay. Are you, like, trying to rip them up? Yeah, but like unarmed, so sure, sure. Uh, the rope has a. It's like an AC of ten, right? Two hit points and a can be burst with a DC seventeen strength check. Wow. Okay, make make that strength check. <laughs> <laughs> These ropes are trying to kill me, Zeskel. Get them Honk. off. Honk will help. Honk's right there. Help. Honk will help him. <laughs> Honk will start cutting the ropes for him. <laughs> Do I need don't. to be untied? Please don't. Going on? You say you want untied, Honk. Don't help. Get me first. <laughs> Saskel, the prospect of Honk helping you out is you are like, yes, please, I need to get out of this. And Honk uh, is one of my best friends. He'll surely help me out. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't um, understand, but okay. The storm is just raging, and all of the crew doesn't seem to be paying you guys any mind. Kit, make a perception check. Okay. Well, oh! 
<laughs> you don't notice. You are just the thunder is crackling as all this is happening. Wow, that was good timing. Uh, as all this is happening, and you're just staring at it, see, trying to make like you are certain that you could not see any sort of land if it was to come within like a quarter mile of you. Um, and you just hope that Emperor has Emperor or uh, Yurik have better sights. Um, Rinkari, what are you doing? Uh, Rinkari's just kind of keeping an eye on the horse, making sure that he's out. <laughs> okay, make an animal handling check, because it is having a... It is not doing oh, great. Oh, animal handling is not good. Oh! No, uh, <laughs> you, like, you soothe it. You have, like, some... An extra, like, uh, stick of celery or, like, a carrot in your bag, you know, for those tough days where you yeah. need a little extra <laughs> calories, and you just... Uh, you know, healthy calories, gotta stay toned. And then you right. feed it to the horse, and the horse is like, it calms down a lot, and sort of like nuzzles into your uh, shoulder, like it's scared, Aww. but it knows it's safe with you. Oh, I finally made a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile... Because neither of them talk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Honk, you've set Jazzarez free. Jazzarez, nice. you just have to get on this figurehead. Like, you oh. know that you can see oh. something. Like, Yurk has to be missing something. These guys have no idea what they're doing. Can't make a perception check. And honk. Okay. I'm keeping my stuff tied to me. <laughs> hey! Hey! Look at me go! Keeping my gear tied to me, I'm sprinting towards the bow of the ship. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. And you make it, you like step in between uh, Yurk and the, uh, the goalpost. And Get Yurk, out of my way! Yurk kind of looks at you and he says, Lady! And, uh, <laughs> and steps aside as you uh, step onto it. Make a oh. dexterity check. Honk. Scurry along the yeah. figurehead. Make, oh, please make a don't fall off the boat. Honk? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no! Honk. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Honk. Honk. You see, out of the corner of your eye, something like dark dark oh, no. blue whisk in this direction, just on the surface of the water. Just as you hear a <laughs> as Jazzaraz falls in the Oh my god! <laughs> I'm screaming. Yeah. I see that happening. Jazzaraz, the moment you hit the water, yeah, you do, Kit. The moment you hit the water, you realize like the coldness kind of snaps you out of it for a second, and you realize you do not want to be in the water, and you are moving or like floating backwards everybody roll initiative this is the worst <laughs> <laughs> oh man dear god oh i'm so bad at initiative oh, oh my god uh, uh, oh that was not bad oh the camera is still on here shannon you I need to get did, yourself together i did better than the captain oh shit everybody hold on hold on uh, i forgot to remove all the turns everybody uh, roll initiative uh, again uh, <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I had an 18 for the record. Okay, I'll give you the I'll give you the 18 and the 20. Thank you. Much better. <laughs> the captain still didn't do great. Yeah, captain. Yeah, shit, and neither do you most of the time. So don't be throwing shade. Whoa, he's getting defensive. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right. Am I still tied up? Yeah, you are tied up. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for the best, honestly. Oh, shit. Honestly, that's true. Uh, because, hold on, let me get some action music going. Uh, okay. So, uh, Jazzaraz is actively floating back. Honk, you noticed that, uh, whatever was in the water is now you cannot see because the water's churning too, uh, too heavily, and it's too dark. Oh, boy. oh uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me arrange this so it's descending. Who is first? Jazzaraz, what are you doing, buddy? I don't uh... think so. Skell's in the order. Yeah, I don't see me. Oh, you had a 22? Yes. I can screenshot it if you need me. No, to. I believe you. I also don't care that much. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Everyone start moving their rolls. <laughs> no, don't. I will kill you all. I got a 25. All. I got a 25. <laughs> nice. Okay, Zuskel, you are first. Sorry. You okay. are tied up. Um, I am. I have that the potion of water breathing. Yes, I that you do. <laughs> How long does that last? Like one hour? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drink it. <laughs> okay, you do. 
Go, go, go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you want to do for your action? action? No, that's a bonus. Okay, I'm going to cast Mage Armor on my wolf. Okay, you do. Okay, that's it for me. Uh, Jezreel. <laughs> oh, no. How high... Wait, how far away from me is the deck of the ship? The deck? So, the boat is... Yeah, it's... Whatever. It's seven feet away from you. But it's about ten feet up. Ten All to fifteen right. feet up, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna say... This is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Glimmer, save me! And uh, I clap my hands together and appear on the deck of the ship. Hey! <laughs> oh! You, oh. Th- right as, nice. th- as lightning cracks, or thunder claps, lightning shoots down where Jazarez is and shoots onto the boat, and oh, Jazarez is behind you guys. Oh, I'm, I'm just screaming. kidding. I'm not dead. <laughs> And I will uh, run towards... How do you get down? You see uh, the stairs are... So these stairs go down to this deck. And then these yeah. stairs go down. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going down. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm below deck. Okay. Like uh, here. Honk and Kit, you guys see this uh, something dark blue dart above the water for a second and then disappear. Uh, Renkari! Would I have noticed or heard uh, uh, Jazaraz fall into the water? No, you're too far under. And the you do hear doom, 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 doom. That's true. As Jazaraz sprints down. Downstairs. He is wearing a lot of and stuff. Like so you well then, I'm just gonna keep the horse still then. <laughs> okay. Uh, animal handling check. Actually, that was good enough. You don't even have to roll. Oh. That's oh, all, okay. I'll count it as a success this time. Uh, Kit. Uh... <laughs> I'll say you still see this appendage uh, in the water at this like, moment. Do I, what does it look like exactly? Like It looks bluish with these purple spines on it. It looks like a long like snake. Or a tentacle, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Um, I told you all. Come on. Mm. Um, Give it to me. I am going to just kind of like hold my fist up like ready for something to pop up, but I'm not going to do anything yet. Are you ready? So you yeah. What are you ready? When you're like, ice punch it with my impact gauntlet if it comes up here. A punch or a knife? A punch. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh... I'm going to take a step back. <laughs> <laughs> Smart, <laughs> smart move. <laughs> yeah, right. Because uh, you were, yeah, you were right there. Uh, yep. Honk. Um, I'm going to shout just to this guy, I guess, since he's the only one up here. Blue thing in water. Which and one? Which one? This guy? This dude, because yeah, I think he's the only one that can hear me. Probably. Yerk. Yeah. And he says, <laughs> and he says, death in your porn. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I will ready a whip if I see something come close to. Okay. Uh, I have Emperor, a range of 10 feet on it. So Emperor at this point there. is going to... Yes, sir. I will note that. Uh, yeah. Well, you can see this ta- this tentacle thing. Actually, it's down 10 feet, so you can't really... You have to yeah, get closer. So. Okay. So Emperor's just taking a look. He actually rolled pretty well. He says, I, well, I can't... He yells down at you guys. Well, I, can't, I can't see much, but uh, I think I see some rocks in the distance. And the captain starts turning to the uh, starboard side. The horse is going to roll a wisdom save. Succeeds, so it's doing okay. Uh, Valor, oh yeah, is turning the boat. Sorry, I jumped ahead. And Essen is, I don't even know where he is. Oh, there he is. Uh, he, at this point, is going to be fastening things down, and then he's going to go up to one of these cannons uh, as he hears yelling above, Yerk! Hold on, I gotta get something ready real quick for Yerk. Uh... When he betrays us. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, shit. He is going to... Ah, fuck. No, we can't do that. Uh, he is going to hold a spell. He is going to bring out this crooked wand uh, made of some dark wood. And j- it begins to glow this, uh, this sort of like eldritch green, but... He holds on to it. Uh, top of the initiative, uh, Jazaraz. I would like. Uh, I'm, 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you just feel you so badly want to go back up <laughs> on the deck <laughs> and swan dive off the port side. Oh my god! I can't be up here. With... What if the ship collapses around me? Uh, I love this game. Uh, Zeskel, it's your turn. Uh. So did I at all hear? Um. Would oh. I have known that he fell off? I'm sorry, and this uh, this disappears. Nope. Uh, you would, I... would, yeah, you would have seen him jump off. Okay, or but fall I also off, saw yeah. him go down the stairs. And then you saw him go down, yep. You are still tied okay. up. Okay. I am going to... Okay, one more question. Did I hear Honk yelling? Yep, you've heard Am I all close of enough? Yep. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to run to... Let's see, what is my speed? 25, maybe? 20... Yeah, 25. Like, this is where Honk is, basically. Like, running up the stairs and going to Honk, by the way. Okay. Well, I was going to go to the... Oh, yeah, you can go wherever. You, do you want to go up by the... Up here? Yeah. Okay. So I'm right here, so then... Uh, first, you gotta okay. make a strength check. Oh, what was it? Right. What I was wrote. it, Austin? Seventeen to break the rope. Oh but you could gosh. like, you could technically like you attack can, it yeah. and deal damage to it. Yeah, you can break it if you want. Or you can always use your wand. Okay. Can't can't I do my wand for this? Yeah. I thought it was mostly reactionary. Nope, there is the one action that you used last time. Right. Really don't want to switch places with someone though, so I'm just going to. <laughs> I am not using my slots. Excuse you. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. I just really like that item. Okay, I'm gonna go there. Okay, you do. And oh shit! I never. I hold on. I'm sorry. I need to attack my rope. Do oh, it. Nice, yeah, that works. Yeah, you you kill it. The rope is no, in tatters. Jazzeraz is your rope is fucked. <laughs> I still have some of it on me, but that was a majority of it. Yeah, there is a lot of line on this boat though, so you can replenish your stock. You feel. And then she just runs up to her, still crying. Oh. I think there's something in the water. She I think says, there's something big in the water. That is not good. Uh. We will try to get to land soon. And, uh, and yeah, Emperor is going to just, like, point, uh, in a direction, and, yeah, uh, uh, on his turn. Uh, so scale, is that your turn? To freak out? Uh, yes. Cool, Jazzle Rez. Like uh, you, you hear the captain say, oh, this is not good, and then I just go, and swan dive off of the <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> make a uh, make an acrobatics check. <laughs> it is you like are trying to swan dive, but your foot catches the railing, and you just go <gasps> ass over a tea kettle. Um, I'll say you belly flop and take one damage. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, what are you doing the rest of your turn? Well, was that my only compulsion? Yeah. Was to jump off? Well, it was that the water seems so nice and inviting, you want to go and swan dive into it. Is that still compelling me? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna start attempting to do laps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the boat is also moving. So yeah, I like, like, like keep up, like I wanna, I wanna do laps like around the boat, but okay. the boat keeps going fast, so I'm, I'm just eternally trying to keep up with the boat. <laughs> so at the end of your turn, you move ten feet back, basically. <laughs> yeah, we'll say that. It's yeah, the boat has a speed of ten for some reason. I don't fucking know. Uh, okay, uh, is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's all I can do. Uh, Renkari, how you doing, buddy? Uh, he probably still has no idea what's going on. So, uh, just... So... There's just chaos above deck, and he's like, he's nice like, horsey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, he's probably getting 
like a little bored because the horse is pretty calm by yeah. now. <laughs> or is it? Or yeah, no, it's really calm. It's doing great. Okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna kind of like walk a little bit like towards the front of the ship, but I mean at a really casual pace though. So <laughs> okay. You're just hanging out. Right sure. Yeah. <laughs> You're just hanging out. Uh. Okay. Uh, Kit. You do not. Did I... Huh? Did... I was gonna say, did I see him do that? <laughs> see Jazaraz? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, okay. Jazaraz, were you making noise? I was just going. Oh, well. <laughs> Now that, now that I think about it, probably he's just like, <laughs> as he jumped <laughs> off, like effort oh, noises. Yeah. And when he tripped, like, thunk, thunk, yeah. thunk, thunk, effort noises. Yeah. Uh, so, Kit, yeah, you, you knew that something happened behind you. Like, Shit. the moment this creature disappears into the water, Jazzarez dives in. Okay, uh. Does the. Can I, like, how tall is it? Like to just jump off of this instead of taking the stairs. It, it's like five feet. You or ten I'm feet. You won't take damage. Gonna, yeah. yeah. Go there. Okay. And get her. Do I see him in the water, or is he? Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Ah. No, you can't! You can't over the waves, like, Jazaraz is just, like, under the water at this point, you just can't see him. Jazaraz, did you- <laughs> She's just kind of looking for him, and I guess that's all she does. <laughs> okay, honk. I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna jump off and run. What? Oh. Over here. No, not off the boat. <laughs> jump down. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna look for Jazaraz, too. Okay, uh, perception check. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you actually see the tip of his snoot in the <laughs> okay. water. You see I'm him. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to, yeah, get air. I'm going to. Um, he's not going to take the rope, but I guess I'll throw a rope down there. I'll just toss, toss a rope overboard and hold on to it in case he grabs it or something. Okay, I'll say sure. Rope. Uh, okay. Uh, Emperor is going to keep looking and say, wow, I keep rolling amazingly for him. He says, oh, uh, there's uh, that way in points. And he says, there's definitely a land. We gotta make it. Uh, the horse, uh, let's see how it's doing. Oh, natural 16. It's still, like, Rinkari, it's doing great. Uh, yeah, Valor is just continuing to steer. Uh, she's fighting the current a lot in the wind. The storm is rough. Uh, Essen is, uh, I don't even know where he is. Yeah, he's, uh, he's loaded one of the bolt throwers, and, uh, his, this one is actually, like, below deck. It shoots through the water, so he's looking through people at this point and trying to get good aim. Yurk is, he loses his spell slot. He's going to prepare another one. Uh, at the top of initiative. Let's see. What's gonna happen? Uh, you see a large, large head no. of a yeah. creature. Hold on, no. hold on. And yes. several tentacles appear. Yes. Oh. oh, that's not a kraken. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, I don't hold like on. this now. Okay, well, <laughs> Wait, those aren't supposed to be here. Uh, it's, uh, it has several eyes that go and fold, and its mouth could envelop even Honk entirely. Uh, uh, it could be a Kraken. Um, and, okay, fine. Yeah, it's nothing. Uh, so it's going to take a, uh, tentacle attack at Honk. Uh, who is He's looking off the side. That, hey, that does that hit? Okay. These aren't supposed to be here. Okay, twelve Ooh. damage. Uh, make a make a con save. Let's see. Did it go? Oh, okay. okay. Well, First I rolled one. three. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So you take twelve damage. Okay. Uh, you you are not diseased. Awesome. Uh, nice. Jazzaraz. Ah. Uh. I would like you to uh, get hit. What? 
Was this oh. it? Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> bounces okay. off it my bounces armor. Off your, yeah, off your armor. Uh, all right. And right now, things are feeling a little scary. You're kind of flashing back. Especially now that you're in the water, you kind of snap out of it a little bit. Uh, okay. Does this hit, Jazzle Raz? Nope. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, that's its turn. It's going to stay up because it was under the water. Uh, Zuskel. Did I see Hulk get attacked? Uh, where are you? Yeah, you do. You see this massive maw and tentacles, like, uh, uh, up onto the deck. Uh, okay. Ow! I'm just gonna... Uh, what you got? Well, hold on. Oh, this is too happy. <laughs> I was gonna do something, but I was like, oh wait, that's lightning. Jazzarez is underwater. That's gonna be good. <laughs> Jazzarez, these tentacles are like wrapping around you, and you see this maw just open up, like at your level, half submerged, half not. You could swim in and do the old chimera trick. I am going to do a... Except for the three rows of pointy teeth. Sorry. I'm going to do go a chill it. touch. Yeah, go for it. Ooh. Yeah, that hit. Did that hit? Yep. Your uh, bony skeletal hand shoots out and slaps it across the face. Uh, and it takes four necrotic damage. Yes. Nice. Good hit. Anything else? I am going to... If I move that way, I'm going to move back down. Back down here. And that's it. How many wisdom saves did I make you make, uh, Austin? I made two so far. Okay, cool. Oh, did you take damage? No. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You didn't. Haha. Ha. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, okay, uh, Jazzarez. Well, <laughs> I currently want to be in the water, yes? Uh, actually, yes. You are still charmed, so yes, you want to be in the water. Huh. <laughs> well, this is a problem. Because if I want to be in the water... I don't want to so, get out so, of the water. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to be in the water, right? Yep, yep, Do I see the, the thing that's attacking Honk? Oh, it is right in front. It is like three... Its head is like three feet from you. It's so gigantic. I, I want to I be in the water, yep. but it doesn't mean that I like this thing. No! Not no I'm Actually, like, wait, hold on. What is charmed? I, I Usually it means I regard them as a friend. Oh yeah, then you regard you are technically charmed. Hold on. Conditions. Well, I don't know actually. Charmed. I can't attack, you can't attack the, the charmer. charmer with harmful abilities or magical effects. A charmer yeah. has advantage on ability check to interact oh, socially. I, I don't want to attack them. Right. All right. Well, I will continue trying to keep up. I'll hold on to the rope because I know that I'm having trouble keeping up, <laughs> and I don't want to lose the ship. Okay, you do. Uh, so Re hold on to the Renkari. Uh, I'm gonna mosey on up. I'm gonna mosey on up toward the top deck. <laughs> okay. Kind of. Uh, I'm gonna use all four movement. I think that's what I have. Okay. So I'm on the top deck now. I'm gonna look around. <laughs> I haven't all of a seen anybody I... in a while. No. All of a sudden, I'm... horror off the edge. Yeah. <laughs> um. Do I see the? Yeah. The oh yeah, you see it. You just see the top of the head, and then like several tentacles, kind of like out in the water. And this thing is gigantic. Like the tentacles with its head are probably like. A hundred feet long or more. Like this okay. thing is huge. Um. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. Hang on. Uh. Shit. Hang on. I'm losing things. Where to go? Uh, I'm gonna use step of the wind since I already went forty feet. So I'm gonna move another forty feet. Okay. Towards monster, and I'm gonna whack it if yeah. I can. Uh. Nice. I'll say. Uh. It'll be hard to hit it. How do you have reach with your quarterstaff? 
I would assume. Sure, I'll say sure. You can do a one-handed strike with it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a disadvantage or just regular? No, just regular. Okay. Oh. Nope. No hit. Um, you, you have okay. an extra attack now. Oh, we do. Yep. Oh, yep, yeah. that hits. Nice. There we go. Seven damage. Whack. This hurts the Aboleth. Whack. <laughs> uh, anything else? Uh, I'm good. Okay, I'm cool. Uh, Emperor is going to seeing this go, oh, jeez, and is going to try to shoot at it with a crossbow. <laughs> Missing horribly. Uh, this is going to try to load another crossbow. Uh, okay. Honk, your turn, sir. Okay. Um, do I feel Jazzleraz grab the rope? Make a perception track. Um, oh, oh, wow. Yeah, you feel it. Okay. So, I'll move with the rope in my hand up to here. I have a pretty long rope, so I think it's okay. Okay. And then I'm going to whip it with 10. Am I 10 feet? I should be 10 feet from it, right? Yeah, sure. Well, it's okay. 10 feet down from you, so you'll have to get to oh. the edge. Okay, so I'll move to the edge instead. Okay. I'll whip it. Whip it good! <laughs> I like the sound effect. Yeah, that doesn't hit. Okay. Wacha again. That also doesn't hit. Um and I don't I think my I think my other things are only unarmed, so yeah, I'm not gonna do that and I'm just gonna step I'm gonna use a bonus attack and bonus action to brace up. Okay, you do. It's 16 temp nice. HP. Oh my gosh. And then I will stand right here. Cool. Away uh, from the edge. Kid, what you got, Catherine? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> Are there any tentacles, like, on the boat? Uh, I'll say there's one in the air, like, within, like, five feet of Rinkari. So I oh, should have said that Rinkari could hit it, but sorry, Rinkari. So. I'm gonna punch it with my. <laughs> okay, okay, you do. And that misses. Then I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> da -da 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 okay, you got, I a, got a bonus? <laughs> okay, horse is fine. Essen is going to. Uh, seeing. This creature out the side is going to rotate and try to make a shot with this thing under the water, rolling a natural 18 that does hit. So it's hey. going. To, so you guys see this is a normal bolt. So this is. Uh, uh, holy shit! Uh, 15 damage as this hey. bolt shoots out. Uh, you guys see this ripple in the water and it impacts with the creature and it goes. Um, okay, it is going. Uh, he's going to try to load up another bolt. Valor at this point is trying to steer away from it, so it gets like this far uh, away. Uh, Yurk at this point, seeing it. Uh, wow, I didn't really think about what Yurk was going to do. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. Fuck. This is a tough one. Uh, why is everything in Xanathar's Guide? Uh, uh, he's going to use uh, Blight. So it's going to make a con save. Uh, which I have here, see? Uh, con? Uh, oh. oh, good. So it. Okay, half as much. Okay, not bad. Uh, 27 and a half of that is 13. So it takes 13 damage as green energy uh, just envelops this creature. Oh. Oh, stay away from the ATP. No. I don't like that. No, I was just I was moving the health. Okay, but actually, it is its turn. So uh, it is going to. Uh, let's see. It's going to move a little closer. Move a little closer. It's under the boat right now, uh, except for the oh. except for the head, uh, which is not. But then, 
tentacles shoot up. One's gonna go for Rinkari. Uh, one tentacle. Does that hit? Uh, my HP 14, yep. <laughs> okay, oh, make a yeah. con save. Con oh, save. 14. Oh, no. Yikes. Oh, oh my oh. gosh! Okay, oh, so you take 13 damage, you are not diseased. Uh, okay. And then, ah, fuck, I forgot to use the legendary actions. Uh, okay, next one is going to be on Kit. Kit, does that hit? Uh, yeah. Okay. Wait. 18? Yay. Yes, it does. Yeah, okay. That's 11 damage. Roll that con save. Ow. Oh. oh. <laughs> Alright, Kit has super herpes now. Uh, okay. Uh, just gonna mark that. And you know what? Let's go after Honk again. Oh, that is. Oh, that was a good roll. 12 damage. Make a con save, Honk. Okay. No! I have a plus 8! Why? <laughs> now, Honk has super herpes. Uh, yeah, that was to be expected. Yep. And the next, uh, and telepathically, Jazarez, you hear. Don't you want to let that rope go? Do I? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You so want to let that rope go. That this app this this thing sounds like that regular at the bar that just has a story for everything. That's true. Make a religion <laughs> check, Jazarez. Oh, quite okay. Yes. Question. Yes. I am going to um use this as my reaction to the tentacle hitting me. Can I do that? Oh yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, so I take no damage, and I can make a pugilist attack, weapon, weapon attack against it. Okay. That's part of the same yeah, reaction. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Okay, well, that does that's not great. Hit, but still. But at least I'm no not damage. hit. Yep, okay. Uh, wait. Reduce the damage. I'll say sure, you don't have magical herpes. Right. Yet. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, that religion check... Jazarez, as it says this, the voice is undercut as thunder echoes throughout, and you hear, Do not give in, Jazarez. Get on that ship. We will strike it down together. Of course we will, my queen! You feel empowered. <laughs> you feel empowered, and the charm is broken. My biceps increase. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Zuskel, your turn. Yep. I am going to... Um, okay, as a bonus action, I'm going to use Sanctuary, or I'm going to cast Sanctuary and put it on... Uh, honk. Um, what does that do? I pinged it. Alright, and that was a bonus action, so uh, for... Is that spell slot down? Um, then I'm going to do... Okay, mm. Bolt, why not? <clears throat> Did I... Yeah, I'll do Chaos Bolt. Oh, that is, uh, I don't think you can do that, actually. One of them has to be a cantrip. Oh, okay. My bad? No, right. no worries. So you can uh, do sealed Ho or uh, sanctuary, and then do a cantrip if you want. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna do that? Uh, yeah. I'm okay. just I'm um, thinking. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kit, point of order. Oh, never mind. Uh, nothing feels weird. You just got hit by a slimy tentacle. Okay. I'm gonna do chill touch again. Oh yeah, that hits. <laughs> nice. Another okay. skeletal hand shoots out. Roll damage. Nice. 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 That's good damage. Okay, nice. and I am going to move behind this pillar. And that's my turn. Cool. Okay, you do. Uh, Jazzleraz, what you got, buddy? You are no longer charmed. All right, I turn around, look at this thing, and I, I scream. 
<laughs> okay. And I start pulling myself. Well, I look and I notice that uh, in order to get back on the ship using the rope, I would have to pull myself closer to its mouth. Yep. So instead, <laughs> I'm going to take the rope, tie it around my waist. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, not this again. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Fear not, fellow crew members. <laughs> I'm merely misty stepping on top of its head and twice. running my spear oh, into the top of its head twice. Nice. I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> uh. Alright. So I'm like. Roll an arcana. Like on, well, I'm that's... like on his head. Yeah, roll a religion check. <laughs> Okay, so the rope, Honk, you feel the rope go taut as lightning strikes it and Jazarez is no longer there. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh. Wait, does the rope not come with me? No, that was a that was a check to see if it would. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah. now you are on its head ten feet down. <laughs> yeah. But and make I, up, make your attacks. <laughs> I start ramming it with my spear. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Honk is within five feet of it. I have pack tactics. That's true, you do. And you have the advantage. <laughs> Roll more for that one of them hits, the last one hits. Holy shit. And I smite it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. At what level? Uh, well, I only have first level slots left. Oh, that's right. You missed these dead. Yeah. Misty step All is so good. Misty good step twice. Yeah, so. that's true. Okay, that's still pretty good. Uh, 16. Yeah, 16 damage. Not bad. Um, and I, can I leave my spear buried in its head so I don't fall off? Yeah, sure. You use it as a rudder. Um, yeah. And as you do lightning, <laughs> as a rudder. lightning hits your spear as you slam it into this creature and it goes... <gasps> um, you feel the glory of Glimmer return. Uh, Renkari. Uh, am I... Am I able to hit it from where I am? Uh, I will say its tentacles have retreated into the sea, so you will have to get closer. Nice. <laughs> like where, um, where Honk is, or even closer? Well, to it's <laughs> ten feet down into the water, so you would have to get down uh, into the water. Then. Uh, I'm gonna I have a rope it. there. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump up here towards like right here and I'm just gonna kind of wait for a better shot so. okay what are you holding better shot uh, I mean oh, what am I an attack <laughs> yeah I'm holding an attack yeah okay. an attack an attack <laughs> okay uh emperor is gonna go uh oh, I forgot his voice it's been so much screaming uh he goes oh, okay we're, we're getting really close captain uh oh, just uh, uh, 20 more 30 more feet uh, and you guys begin to see rocks looming in the distance. Uh, okay, okay. honk. Uh, oh no. Um, okay, I will go to the edge, see its head, and with my whip, whip at it. Do it. Yeah! Yes! Oh my oh. gosh. Okay, I have some things I can do here. Hold on. You're gonna um, roll another die. Yeah, I can do a bunch of stuff. Hold on. Hold on, what's it called? Savage attacks. When I score a critical hit, I can roll it again. So, um, eight. Oh, Ooh. that sucked. That was garbage. But, um, I'll also do this. Okay. When I hit with an attack. Yep. Oh, yeah, with a martial weapon. 1d8. I don't know if this doubles or not because it's a crit. Yeah, sure. I'll say yeah, that's okay. a die roll. So Cool. Okay. Hold on. When you score so twelve plus sixteen is twenty-eight. Yeah. It's not bad. With one whip strike. <laughs> you guys hear the echo uh, of the whip crack uh, in time with the lightning and you feel the blood seep into the Eldritch blood seep into the uh, whip. Yeah. Anything else, sir? Yeah, attack. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my extra attack and do it again. No, you're oh, not. Just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> and then I'm gonna back up. Doop doop doop. Back up. Okay. I'll say it will not get a uh, an opportunity attack. But at the end of your turn, it's going to spend uh, one 
It's going to take a legendary action to tail swipe you. Uh, Renkari? Oh. For- Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> That's brutal. For 19 bludgeoning damage. Uh, I'll just keep track of this by saying- Oh my god! Oh, that part went real low. <laughs> okay, Kit. Okay. Um, is its mouth still above the water? Is the what? Yeah, its it mouth. Is. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to shoot an ice knife into its mouth. Ooh, okay, yeah. yeah. So I don't hit Jazzaras. Sure. Uh, that unfortunately misses. It like okay. it, sh it it skids off of its uh, super barbed hide. It Not still barbed, has to tough. make a con save, I think. A con save or the, a deck save? Because it explodes. Oh, that's either true. Way. It is, it's a deck save. Think, right? Oh yeah, Dex save, sorry. Okay, 16. That is my DC. Okay, so it makes it. So Shit. it doesn't take any or it takes half? Uh, it just says or takes 2d6. Okay, so it doesn't, doesn't take any. It manages to, to dodge it. It dips under the water briefly. Jazzeraz, you hold on to your rudder. Uh, okay. Okay. Anything do else I there? remember, like, from looking at these, do I remember if they turn all the way around? If what turns all the like, way around? Uh, these. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, I'll say you have, with these, you have about this much range, like 60 degrees, maybe. Uh, so, not, not exactly. But you know that uh, below deck, those bolt throwers yeah, are... Um... Okay, do that. Can I get down there? You can certainly I... try. I don't remember where the stairs are. <laughs> it's the, uh, the, uh... Oh, so you're right. You're right here. So, these are the stairs. Shit, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go down there. So... Okay. Get, like here, right? Yep. And you run down and you see Essen, like, hastily trying to, uh, reload. Horse is fine. He reloads and he's gonna take, try to take another shot. Rolling an April 4, not, uh, hitting, and he's going to try to start reloading again. Valor is going to pull it hard to port, trying not to hit the rocks ahead, trying to navigate. Uh, Yurk, at this point, is going to try to cast some amalgam of fairy fire to see through the darkness, like dancing lights, but brighter. Uh, to try to see through the darkness ahead of the ship uh, for uh, so that Valor would be able to steer properly. Uh, the Eldritch Horror. Oh shit, actually, at the end of Valor's turn, uh, it's going to... Let's see here. Uh, Abolith, reach 10 feet up. Uh, Jezrez, you are the only one within 10 feet, so it's going to Bring use it. another legendary action to make a tail attack. Okay, that one actually does hit me. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, oh, 15 bludgeoning damage? Oof. Oof. Okay. Gotta watch out for that tail. Yep, that's what everybody says. Gotta put some ointment on that tail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's going to also... Uh, let's see, see within 30 feet of it. It's going to burst up so it can see on the deck and is going to attempt to enslave uh, Zuskel. So Zuskel, oh. make a wisdom save. Can I do counter spell? Nope, it is not a spell. Oh. Uh, what am I doing? Wisdom save. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay, uh, you cannot take reactions, and instantly you hear a new voice in your head say, Join me in the water. Oh, God. Oh, damn. And oh, you shit. feel compelled. You want to get into the water. Uh, and then it's going to dive. Uh, let's see. Um, how deep can it swim? Uh, it's going oh, to no. uh, go... 10 feet under, so Jazzeraz, you are now... You can either hold on to your spear, try to wrench it out, or uh, let go. So it's leaving. 
it is dropping down 10 feet. Yeah. Um, oh, it is. Yeah, so that is. I will is say, it moving to like dive or, if it, or is it just like. It's bobbing out of the. It's not like super far diving. That is not as far oh. as it can move in a Wait, I had advantage on that wisdom saving throw. Oh, do it again. Because of my gnome cunning. Oh, you do have gnome cunning. Can gnome cunning? So can I roll again? Yeah. Uh, oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that doesn't happen then. Oh, yay. It is going to dive ten feet down. Jazarez, do you want to hold on or let go? Is it gonna go under the water? Yes. Okay. You will be ten feet underwater if you hold on. <coughs> I will hold on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Awesome. Zuska, oh, it super... is your turn. You just barely managed to shake it off. You heard the voice in your head, and you, but uh, as that voice spoke, then you hear this, your old voice, say, Not today, foul beast. Come along, girl. Let's kill this thing. Your turn. So, can I, if I go over here, can I see it, like, under the water? Like, Yes. Okay. Actually, make a perception check, I'll say. The the water is very dark, especially with all the white caps and stuff. Well, I can see in the dark, not underwater, but... Perception, perception, where is it? There it is. Ooh. Oof. Uh, it is... You, you cannot make it out. Unfortunately. Okay. Um... Oh, oh, also, point of order, as it steps, or as it goes underwater, uh, Jezrez, it is surrounded by this mucus cloud. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. <laughs> you feel, even though you're holding your breath, you feel that this is bad stuff, and it, it, just, it just, like, oh. singes your skin and scales. Uh, okay, is that scale? Is that your turn? Um. Oh, you were trying to look at it, so you have you can make an action of bonus if you would like. So you cannot yeah, make a... out where it is. You know the general idea of where it is. Okay, would that have considered a attack? Which one? When you tried to charm me? No. Oh, I could have pulled Jazzarez to me. Um. Let's see. Where's my character sheet? Right here. Yep, uh, I think. Alright, uh, well, I'll do Sanctuary on um, Rinkari as well. Okay. Yay. So low. <laughs> Is that a concentration spell? Nope, it's not. Wow. So both. That spell's awesome. Yeah, I need to use it more often. Alright, that's my turn. I'm gonna move away from the edge, though. I'm going back behind the pillar. Awesome. Okay. So wait, Honk is the first one rewarded by Sanctuary, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Honk and then Rinkari. Cool. At the end of your turn, it... Mine is gone because I attacked it. Oh, you're right. The water creature makes an attack. Or you're right. A spell that affects him. Um, okay. At the end of your turn, it is going to use... It has all its legendary actions back. Um, so it is going to make a tail swipe at... Uh, honk. It can reach me? Holy crap. It. Oh, no, that's true. It can't. It can't. That's true. Plus it's going to do this to uh, Jazzleraz. <laughs> Sorry, Jazzleraz. <laughs> oh. 13 damage. <laughs> Is it now? <laughs> yes. I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess I'll take that damage <laughs> and then blast it in the face with my flame war. Oh shit! Yeah. Ooh. It's not very dexterous, so it takes all thirteen. Nice. That's a good, nice. That's a good roll. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it takes that damage as flame, hellish flame, bursts out and engulfs this creature, and the mucus cloud kind of dissipates for a second, actually. Um, okay. 
Okay, your turn now, sir. I'm going to keep stabbing it. Yeah, keep doing it. You. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> it's that first wait, one. I wait, wait, wait. wait no, I... no, no, no. Yeah, you no. are 10 feet underwater uh, at this point. I'm gonna stab it that one does hit. The first one, you just couldn't get your spear out of it. And then I'm gonna smite it again. Yeah, go for it. Smite. 13. Oh, nice. nice. All right. And then I'm going to. Lightning uh, strikes in the water, yeah. Yeah, pull my spear out of it, and then uh, try to swim out of the opening in the cloud I made. Okay, cool. Uh, also, as you do that, you are... Uh, make a con save, DC 14. Because <laughs> you hit it with a melee attack. Perfect. Oh. Hey. oh, nice. Okay. Cool. I'm immune to disease, if that means anything. Oh, that's true. I forgot. Paladins are badass. Yeah, you're immune. It doesn't matter. So I take back I everything I said about the mucus. <laughs> Yeah, right. It's a good time. So it is going to take a uh, an opportunity attack to whack you with the tentacle. Missing. Cool. Of course it is. Yep. And at the end of your turn... Wait, where are you going? I'm swimming, like, out of the... Like, well, I'm underwater right now. Yeah. So you swim... So I'm getting up. to the surface, and then I'm looking for that rope. Okay. You do... I'll say you see it back where it was, kind of drifting towards you, actually. All right, I'll grab it and try and pull myself on board. Okay, cool. Uh, you, I'll say you're able to grab it. Uh, you will need some assistance. You make it to about there, probably. Uh, cool. Wait, Honk, are you still holding on to this rope? Yeah, I've been holding on the whole time. Oh, I just okay. drew it, so I haven't dragged it or anything. Okay, but... cool. Uh, re actually, he's got, at the end of his turn, he's going to make another... Uh, Tail swipe at Jazzleraz. Ooh, ouchies. Ooh, wait, wait, oh, Jazzleraz. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Jazzleraz oh. is the one. <laughs> oh, those bars are real low, folks. <laughs> Ouch. I'm sorry. Um, Let me do, I, me. do I see Jazzleraz trying to get back up on the boat? Yes, you see him crawling okay, out of the water. I'm going to try and pull the rope to help him get back up. Okay, make a strength check with advantage. Strength check with advantage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, I'll say sure. That sure. Uh, awesome. Yeah, you are able to pull Jazarez up the ten feet and onto the deck. Boom. All right. And then I'm gonna go back here and hold until my next turn until I get a chance. Okay. Uh, Emperor's gonna keep pointing. Uh, honk, your turn. It's still underwater. Yeah. Yeah, it's 10 feet underwater. And it's okay. suffused with a dark cloud, so it's hard to target. I will try anyway. I'm going to try to throw a javelin down. Okay, throw with disadvantage. Come on, you got this. Oh, oh, oh I did advantage, but that's still 19. Yeah, that is. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, my gosh, you guys are rolling awesome. Okay. Um, okay. I will do it again, because might as well. Okay. Oh, dang it. No, that misses. Okay. Then I'm gonna back it up. You see no feedback as to whether or not that javelin hits. Uh, Kit. Okay. Actually, at the end of that turn, you know what? Nope, he can't. Never mind. Good. He's too far down. Kit. Eh. Gonna go eh. to this thing. Yep. You eh. see a mucus cloud underwater. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot into that, because I'm assuming that's what that is. Yeah, okay, make a uh, Tinker's Tools check. Okay. I'll say you especially are adept at using this kind of thing. Hey. Especially since you did a... Uh... Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> yeah, okay, so uh, roll uh, 2d12 plus 3. That okay. accounts for the crit. Kill him right now, let's go. Hopefully. Hey. Kit, how do you want to do okay. this? Yes! yes! Okay. So I, like, run as fast as I can down these stairs and, like, accidentally push Aston out of the way. <laughs> Just, like, oh. load this thing up as fast as I can, kind of judge where this thing is, and then shoot it right into the mouth. Yeah. It opens, and this is, like, directly after being uh, shot full of lightning by Jazzleraz and uh, whipped... By hog, they had ice shattered all over it, and it is just opening its maw to come up towards the ship and take a huge bite out of it or get one of your friends. And you just 
aim true right to the back as the, like, cloud kind of clears straight through its mouth and, like, down most of its body and out the end. And you guys see just this bluish, brackish ichor uh, float to the surface. And it is dead. Die. Oh. Nice. Way to go. And it starts floating and dr- is drifting back. Do you guys wish to stay in initiative for the body, or are you giving it up? No, let that thing go. <laughs> okay, cool. I mean, I kind of want the body. <laughs> Did the thing have a rope on it, or was that special ones? What? Oh, no, those are special ones. Okay. I mean, I'm not going in to get it, so we can just let it go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, it floats away. And you guys are out of combat. The storm Those aren't continuing. supposed to be here. <laughs> and she says, You're absolutely right. I do not know why this has happened. You have brought this upon us. What? Okay, that's a no. My God specifically oh, protects me from these things. You brought this upon us with your sex ship. What? You angered the gods. Okay, that is a large claim. And she, she, sex this show. is Sodom and Gomorrah all over again, as lady! She, as she's turning hard left and then hard right again, um, the storm is just continuing to get oh, worse and worse. Hard. And you see, and you see um, a sort of, uh, not exactly cliff, like hills off in the distance. You see land as she pulls into a small like bay or a key, and uh, uh, the crew begins to uh, like dock, basically, or not dock, but put down anchor to stop. And they say, uh, excuse me, they say, uh, we have to dock here for the evening until the storm passes. We cannot risk something else like that. I just hope that the other ships are all right. Yuck, I doubt it if there's more of them. Yuck, will you please contact them? And he says, uh, yeah, I'll give him a ring. <laughs> And begins muttering under his breath in different voices. Yeah, and um, Jessica is just hugging onto Honk right now. No. Uh, I collect my rope. Kit. Yeah. So, make a make an Arcana check. You have not read much about Aboleths, so you're not really sure uh, what's up with them. Um, so after one minute, your skin becomes translucent and slimy. Uh, your hair grows like stringy almost, and is just like dripping like forever, and you feel just so sickly. You are not able to regain hit points unless you're underwater. Uh, and uh, if you are not, uh, if moisture is not applied to your skin uh, every 10 minutes, you take a 1d12 acid damage. Which I think I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, you look nasty. What's you up? What's good. going I, on? I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I do not. Do not feel good. And, uh, let's see. Emperor. Still stay away. See that you know. uh, Don't want nothing with that. Emperor's like, oh, that's the curse of the Aboleth. <laughs> what? It, it's a powerful disease that corrupts the body. Oh, a disease? Yeah. Oh, okay. Five points of lay on hands. Can I try and make a potion of restoration? Uh, you can attempt so. Uh, let's see. The disease can be removed only by heal or another disease curing spell of six level or higher. So your lay on hands does nothing to her. You put you place your hands uh, on her shoulder, and nothing happens. What? This always works. Maybe glimmer went away again. Oh, that lady! I swear. I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind the next time she drags me to that dream rock. <laughs> Dream rock. Oh, nothing. Uh, okay. Zaskel, do you have the recipe for potion of restoration? I think. 
I know I can make it. I think the recipe's in the Let's see. alchemy handout. You do have the potion of uh, restoration lesser in your alchemist journal. So yeah. uh, let me see. Let me see what that requires. Uh, I'll say you go below deck and wow, I can't find one it. Oh yeah. Pearl? Uh yeah, or so I'll just it? say 50, 50 gold worth of supplies or Ugh. yeah. 50 gold worth of alchemy supplies. Do you have that on you? I do not. Okay. Then unfortunately you're not able to make it. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Kid. At least with that roll you are not able to make it. Okay. It's okay. I have 13 gold worth of alchemy supplies on me. <laughs> Not a lot. Yeah, okay, so we have to kill Kit, yeah? I'd rather you didn't. No! That's what happened on ship. If someone gets sick, you have to kill. No, I'll you just here, quarantine so her. You, we can just quarantine her. Oh, that hit too close to home. That's too real. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's, be, <laughs> let's not talk about that. <laughs> If this is an abolith curse, then she can't give it to us. It has to be given by that abolith. Oh, okay. Did not want to kill you, kid. Thank you. Never happened. The wind begins to pick up at this point. The storm is just getting more and more intense. You do see, in this small bay, you see, uh, it looks sort of like a crescent moon, um, where you are in uh, the center of this bay, and there's a small entrance that you entered. Um, and as you feel the wind blow in, you, uh, everybody make perception check. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dazzlerez, you swear that you see pairs of glowing blue orbs drifting towards you in the darkness on the uh, wind. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Oh my god. Uh.